go live. Hello everybody and welcome to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will and today we are back and we are playing not Dungeons and Dragons, but instead Cat Eclism! <laughs> and uh, it's it's about to get just as memey and creamy as you are hoping it will be. Uh, we have back this cast and crew today for today's one shot, and Rem is stuck in the most serial killer pose that I could ever hope to him to have it's achieved. Amazing. There we go. There he is. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> Every 20 minutes, I'm gonna poop out for like I'm gonna like change my router today or something. Some shit. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. Uh, so. Rem, why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, your character today and what they're called? Uh, I don't even know yet. Oh, well, this character of mine, this this very well thought out, absolutely serious. You know, there's no holds barred mm. in this cat eclism game. Her name is Eartha Kitten, based of course on the infamous celebrity Eartha Kit. She is a. <laughs> let me pull up all this. This this. I gotta get back into the. Uh, okay, she is. Get in a, the mode. Yeah. <laughs> Her breed is a sphinx, so she's like the like the hairless kind of Egyptian cat, like Mr. Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> um, when statting her out, I prioritized meowgic, um, a little bit of reflexes some coordination uh, and intuition as well. She's, but she's not very big on like the physique right. or the technical side or even really strength to a degree. She's she's very much. Um, you know, an old, an old cat, old wrinkly hairless cat. <laughs> old wrinkly cat. Wrinkly cat. Old wrinkled cat. Um, <laughs> at at Eartha Kitten. Fantastic. And, uh, she's uh, I guess personality wise, she's she's vain like all cats. She uh, just she does whatever cats. I don't know. We're about to find out what she does in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cats know. Do. I don't put a bunch of effort into this character. It's a cat game. It's a cat game. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna get fantastic. Uh, we have Jen with us today. How's it going, Jen? It's good. Fantastic. Um, fantastic. Yeah. I am gonna be playing Princess Flufferton Von Catnip. Um, she is a Bengal breed, so very, uh, very royal looking. Um, and she is completely statted out with physique. And also, uh, ah. Eartha Kitten is from Omni. Mm -hmm. She's part of my litter. Fantastic. I've, um, yeah, I've named you Flufferton, so I don't have to continue to refer to you as Princess. Uh, you love it. I, <laughs> I do. What can I say? Arthur Flufferton. Let's find out who Tex is playing today. How's it going, Tex? I'm doing well. This is going to be interesting and fun, of course, because it's on Encounter Roleplay and chat <laughs> loves us so very, very much. <laughs> um, so I'm playing S. Uh, Panthero. Uh, he's a brute. Uh, he's a, a Maine Coon, is the type of cat he is. Uh, so he's got the, the kind of like linksy pointy ears. Uh, he's dark, uh, dark fur or dark hair, uh, with like a bit of a silver underlying, and yellow eyes, bright yellow eyes. So um, fantastic. He, is, is he like geared out in weapons and armor and stuff as well? Yeah, I, I may have uh, geared him up into plate armor and. Uh, and him a double axe, so yeah. And <laughs> um, uh, what's his name again? Uh, S. Panther Panthero. Panthero. Uh, All right, I'll butcher S that. We, we decided last night that someone had to be the, a sex panther from Anchorman. Of course. So of course. Took up the. Uh, he's a Tex Panther. Ah! Oh! 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 Hey, they're already a pun. <laughs> this, 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 that's going to be the only pun in this whole game, guys. Trust me. <laughs> There's some inside jokes. And if any of my friends are in chat or internet that are gonna love that actually <laughs> <laughs> fantastic so uh yes today's game is cat eclism uh it is a uh, fantastic fantastic little fun game that we're going to be demoing today uh this is of course a pay promotion so full disclosure getting paid to play this game you should check it out it's kind of kickstarter soon and they're doing a lot of fun things with this game um but yes, let me tell you guys a little bit about the world of Cat Eclism, first of all, because you might not be aware as to exactly what's going on, exactly how far this world has gone. I don't um, even think we're aware as the players nope. are prepping. <laughs> so. Oh no, you're about to find out. You're about oh. to find out. So let me read let me read out the introduction to you guys. The humans is dead. No more food for us. No more scratches for us. No more protection from the outsides for us. We has taken the earth. 
Defend the realm of cats from the evil rat hordes that threaten their expanding kingdoms. The time of humans has passed, and our beloved feline friends have inherited the earth. Obviously, our natural uh, <laughs> meow on thanks for following, man. Uh, <laughs> natural takeovers. Uh, they roam the land searching for ancient human relics and meowjik. They wage war with the evil rats, frogs, and toads who'd want nothing more than to make the cats go the way of the humans. Extinct. Choose your cat, choose your weapon, and fight for honor, glory, and your ball of yarn. Now, if there isn't a better pitch for a game out there, then I, I, I need to see it, really. I, I have to uh, see it to believe it. Uh, this game sounds absolutely fucking fantastic. Um, essentially, uh, it's a pretty simple system. It's called the phase system. Uh, which is essentially you roll a d10, uh, you add any relevant scores, the ability modifiers, and then you uh, check it against the DC. So if it's equal to a higher than, it's a success. If it's lower than, it's a failure. Very similar to a Dungeons and Dragons based system, uh, but a d10, not a d20. And it's got a couple of cool unique things going on about it as well. Instead of hit points, you have this thing called a life dial. Uh, first it's in the green, then it goes to yellow, then it's in red, and when it's in black, you're dead. Uh, different conditions and modifiers apply when you're in those different phases. Um, so, <laughs> yes, that intro is awesome. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna, uh, just quickly remind you guys, I suppose, of the ways you can interact with today's show before we dive into the campaign itself, uh, this little demo that we'll be playing today for the next three hours. Uh, so if you are new to Encounter Roleplay and Needler channel, welcome in. Uh, if you haven't followed yet, hit that follow button and join us. Twenty, uh, in fact, ten followers today. I think we start off with a nice, quick viewer decision to get some... To get some good puns going. Uh, ten for us today, you guys will get a viewer decision where you guys get to decide something which happens next in our campaign. You could throw a horde of eagle, uh, evil rats or toads, frogs at the uh, the party. Whatever you want, really. Uh, yes, you have nine lives as well. It is actually canon within the game that you get yeah. eight more chances if you actually die in a campaign, which is 100% serious. Like, um, like nine, nine is like the magic number for everything. Like everything that's like the base game. number they do everything. Yeah, yeah everything's it. based on nine. You can move 18 feet per Turns so of like double nine. Um, what else? Uh, here's a tweet for you guys. Uh, 20 retweet. 20 retweets. I have a viewer decision. Add of course two new subscribers or patrons. As per usual, we can affect the game. Good players, net ones, net twenties, wild magic surges, and the like. But uh, basically, uh, enjoy and um, and we'll see what happens. So I, I quickly want to hear what you guys look like. And of course, as any good game, we're going to be starting in uh, a tavern. Uh, what better place to meet our <laughs> furry friends today than in a cat tavern, uh, where I can only imagine the only beverage that is served here is milk, um, directly tapped out from uh, the, uh, the furry... Uh, uh, waitress who is uh, serving you guys. So you guys are around a table. Of course, you guys are um, companions already. You've got some experience with one another. Um, so let's start with Urfa. Urfa, what do you what do you look like? Um, Eartha Kit. She's very very slim built, very regal in a way, like very much like mm. in like like she she's had her time in the limelight. She's not quite there anymore, but she still gets all those um, those like perks. She still you know has that that regal sort of style that she stays in. She's just like a parody of like an older Eartha Kit, and for those of you who don't know who Eartha Kit was, she was the original uh, Catwoman from the old Adam West show, and she was also Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. So there's probably going to be a whole lot of Yzma puns going on up here. But yes, <laughs> I imagine she's probably sitting like in her own little um, like uh, VIP lounge area with a um, you know a little martini glass with milk in it, uh, tube uh, skim, of course. Uh, stirring it with like a little claw, and she's, she's <laughs> skimmed, yeah. not shaken. Skimmed, not shaken. <laughs> <laughs> Gas, please. And um, she's um, maybe even has like a uh, like a cigarette in one hand, but it's like a like on the little long Cruella de Vil kind of like extending things, and it's very fancy. It's very class, like an old school, like forties uh, lounge kind of like attitude is what she's expressing. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what about Princess Fluffington? <laughs> it's Princess Flufferton. Sorry, but, mm. my mistake. <laughs> my mistake, Princess, please. So, <laughs> Princess Flufferton is completely white and extremely regal. Um, and she's probably sitting here holding up a mirror and kind of, you know, preening herself and, and uh, not giving a shit about what, an, what else is going on at the table. And she will 
literally like die if anyone that she knows comes in here and sees her like this. Em very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Mm. She will lose one of her nine lives. Yes. Um, what about Panthero? Uh, he's uh, a big, muscly British guy. Uh, doesn't talk much. Um, and uh, uh, dark yellow eyes, or she's got yellow, bright yellow eyes, uh, very dark fur, uh, those pointy, pointy ears with the linked hairs on them. Uh, and he's usually wearing his uh, steel armor as he walks around because he's a uh, soldier brute type. Fantastic. Uh, so the, the group you are around this table, um, and as uh, you're, you know, chatting, hanging out, trying not to be seen, whatever it is that you're doing here, you hear a, a voice with no warning which appears behind you, and you see uh, one of these cats standing up, and as a clarification, these guys are like humanoid-looking cats, and they can have weapons and swords, so a little bit like the, as Rem mentioned earlier, like the Red Wall uh, books, I suppose, but far more meme -y, far more creamy. Uh, far more so <laughs> God! <laughs> well, I mean, they're cats, man! <laughs> they love cream! Maybe it, maybe it cream! <laughs> <laughs> creamy memes, man! <laughs> So that's all about. Um, right. But you hear this, uh, you hear the voice of Antonio Banderas. Your services are requested. Come to the tavern called Cat's Revelry tomorrow morning to discuss arrangements. Be prepared for travel. A coach will arrive tonight to take you to your destination. And you turn and see this courier cat, uh, and he kind of bows towards the group of you and, uh, and begins to kind of head off, his message having been delivered. Um, uh, Eartha Kitten is going to, um, like, pat, like, the end of her cigarette and, like, saunter up to her daughter and just kind of, you know, dear, you can worry about pruning yourself later. We must get ready for this, uh, engagement we have later tonight. Oh, Mom, no. I have a date tonight. It's like, listen, you, I cannot let you go out on any dates. We don't want you to have any kind of, uh, legitimate litters running around this there he oh goes. Oh my god, Mom, you are totally unfair. This is terrible. <laughs> what does uh, Panafero think of this uh, new state of it? I mean, you guys are kind of like out of work at the moment, so you need something. Uh, he's just uh, honing his weapons as he's sitting there. He's used to this banter back and forth. He doesn't really participate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm back. Um, oh, welcome back. Uh, okay. What was the last thing y'all heard? <laughs> um, you were about to say something back to uh, Princess. Uh, oh, okay, I, I, um, I was going to uh, snap at her and then like grab her by the scruff of her neck with my teeth and like towed her outside. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 like bipedal rotating her outside. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, you guys kind of like head out of the tavern and you guys would know that the cat's revelry it's a kind of average quality tavern. You guys have probably been staying in a much nicer one. Uh, and it's operated by a burly, heavy set Maine Coon. Um, similar to. Uh, who else is the Maine Coon uh, in the party? Tex. Tex, yeah, I think it's. Yeah, Panthero. Um, and, um, you know, you can, uh, you can head over there. Uh, there's a, a carriage which awaits you. You take a carriage over there. And by the time that you travel there, it is the evening time. And uh, there are a couple of performing stages, rooms to rent as you enter into the establishment, um, and uh, a couple of rooms which you imagine have seen all sorts of private deals going on within them. It's pretty quiet when uh, you guys arrive, and there's a lonely squirrel musician playing for the patrons. Um, the host is this uh, perky young short hair uh, who recognizes you guys, as you guys are you know, somewhat known around these areas for being heroes. Um, and uh, she says, ah, ah, welcome, welcome, welcome to the cat's revelry. Are you, uh, are you looking for anything or anyone? Um, the Eartha Kitten is going to, um, you know, like, you know, flaunt her, like, what, whatever, what the fuck cats do? Um, <laughs> their tails, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the tail, yes, yeah, so her, her, like, hairless tail that looks like a rat tail, and she's, yes, we're looking for a, uh, a young, mis mis he has a Spaniard accent. And uh, he's ah. supposed to meet him here. I do believe uh, it's my name on the list. My name is Eartha Kitten. And this ah, is my daughter, yeah. Flupperton. See, si, see, si, you are expected. And uh, she kind of begins to lead you up to the second floor 
Um, and uh, she's like totally checking out Panfero as uh, as another you know main coon, and she kind of like fluffs her tail over Panfero in a kind of <laughs> kind of way. <laughs> How does Panfero respond? <laughs> <laughs> I think she would uh, she kind of uh, stand, a, like, all of a sudden stand a little bit taller, um, mm. puff at his chest a little bit, and, do, like, try to strike a pose. Yeah, <laughs> as you're walking. <laughs> yeah, like, as he's walking, so he's doing one of those weird, like... <laughs> like, like, uh, like cats do. I mean, yeah. my beach ball, it's uh, about this big. Uh, <laughs> might be over there. I'm gonna lean into my mom and say, um, BT Dubs, this place smells terrible. I'm going to, um, kind of, uh, give, give her, like, an approving nod, and yes, but don't worry, dear, I'm sure that, uh, when the chance comes, we will, of course, buy better accommodations than this, she gives, like, the smell, <laughs> than this litter box they put us in. <laughs> So uh, you head up to a second uh, floor room, uh, which she opens for you, and the sound of this loot is carrying above the, the faint din of the Lowe's uh, drinking the milk below. Uh, you enter into this room, and uh, you see this middle-aged Persian cat with dark hair, and he's got these neatly trimmed whiskers, who's standing near a set of chairs, uh, who is uh, waiting for you. Um, and he says, please help yourselves. My name is Sir Whiskers Shadow. We have business to discuss, which is always more pleasant on a full stomach. And he takes off one of those, like, silver dishes, and uh, there's just loads of cat food within. And uh, he gestures towards the seats for you guys. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Does a little bow. I'm just gonna look at my mom, like... Really? This is what this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> um, did my internet pooped for like that last fifteen seconds. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> he, he basically said, "It's a pleasure to meet you all." My name oh, is okay, uh, okay. So Whiskers Shadow. It's Whiskers Shadow. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna shake his hand. Um, Ooh. instead, uh, Eartha Kid is is going to greet him, of course, in the way she knows how. Gonna, that's by putting her butt in his face, um, like cats do, and. Then um, kind of turn back around to him and so what? What is the meaning of this this little uh, congregation you've gathered us for? I, I'm not one for this, this small talk. As she leans over and knocks like a little trinket off of one of the counters. <laughs> so Whiskers Shadow says, "I am what you might call an independent researcher. I have recently uncovered hints and rumors of an ancient site dating back to the so-called Bronze Age of cats." I would like to employ you to investigate the location and to retrieve an ancient tome that I believe might yet remain there. This task is not without some degree of danger, which is why I require the services of such individuals as yourselves. This location is somewhat remote and is within the forbidden lands in the deep forests off the coast of Catalonia. I would like to procure your services for a period of at least four weeks. You will have free choice of any treasure found at the site, with the exemption of the tome I seek, for which you will be rewarded in full. I can offer you each a base fee of 250 large shinies, plus per week, plus travel expenses. I will provide half up front. Mm. Um, the Kitten is, is very impressed by this she being a an older generation cat who has seen many litters in her time uh the prospect of finding this these older ancients mm. you know relics of the past has piqued her interest to a degree and she, if she would had fur it would bristle um so she, she kind of us uh, it's down you you mentioned some kind of danger i am not one who's afraid of the danger i will fight if i need to but do you know what we may be, I guess, getting ourselves into? See, feral cats and local rat tribes expected mm. to be hostile. Mm. I'm not afraid of any uh, ill-gotten, mangy uh, 
mutt cats, as she she says and spits the word out, or she <coughs> coughs up a hairball to uh What about what about you, dearie? And I look over at my daughter. <laughs> I mean, I guess if we're gonna get shinies, we could go shopping later. I don't want to touch any feral cats, though. I literally just cannot. Oh, you don't want to touch any feral cats? What about that boy you were seeing the other day, hmm? Don't you talk about Meow Zedong like that. He's a Siamese. Meow Zedong, he is a, he is a worthless, worthless cat who has no... What's, he, he failed his MCAT tests. He would never be a good doctor if he does not pass those. He, like, totally loves me. You don't even understand. This is why oh. I can't talk to you. I don't even think he would lay down three of his lives to save you, Shalene King. He is a worthless man. But this one over here, and I go over to Panthero. You there, in your, with your powerful cat like you see, <laughs> you, you, you look like someone who could maybe, I lean real close, keep an eye on my daughter in this adventure, make sure she does not die. Duh. I, yes, I agree with this man. Yes, 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 yes. See, and I, I run back over to her. <laughs> <laughs> do, not, do not mess this up. You do not ruin our family. Do not bring upon a, a wave of worthless litters. You are so mean. And I'm just going to run over to the corner. Right. I go over and I like start like, licking like the top of her head. There, 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 there. there. It's good. It's good. <laughs> and um, <laughs> uh, I leave Pentaro to speak with <laughs> this, this NPC. So, so, <laughs> so Whiskers Shadow, uh, Panfero, do you have any questions for him? You have map. Ah, see, I uh, can give you the location of uh, the forest. And he kind of folds out this map. Um, he kind of shows you, you know, the rough location where he suspects this will be. However, it is like a lost palace. He's kind of got you like a, a radius. Yes. Good. You have uh, armor, weaponry for fight? Ah, uh, uh, no, no, that will, you will have to provide yourselves, but with the uh, large shinies that I will pay up front, you will be able to purchase most equipment. That and is good. Of course, it is suspected that shinies of all size, relics, and other equally exciting finds will be within the palace. Aye. We shall go. Good day to you. Of course. Uh, and uh, he says, just before you go, the location you will be surveying is in the deep forests of the Forbidden Lands near the coast of Catalonia. To the south of the great mountain range, the Catas Hills. From Paws Bay, you will have a five to six day slog inland to the site of the palace of Sinais. This palace is your destination and the site of the tome that I desire. The palace, I believe, is now used by a rat tribe who are led by a pair of vicious, feral cat brothers. From what I understand, they demand honor from the other tribes in the area. So expect them to be armed and capable. However, the palace grounds and its inhabitants are merely an obstacle. I have confidence that the palace of Sinha Hiss hides a deeper secret, one unknown even to the current inhabitants. My research indicates this palace is on the grounds of an ancient human site. Such palace places were guarded in legend by gigantic snakes. Somewhere beneath that palace, I believe that there is a chamber that contains a tome which may possess information on the Katain Vega Kotocha. Now, now that I finish my little monologue, you may be on your way. I uh, kind of look look back and forth and think, I feral cats allying with rats. I will be happy to rid the world of all eighteen of their lives combined. But I mean. First of all, how are we going to get there? Because I literally just had my fog done. <laughs> we can get you some kitten mittens. I hear that the Charlie Day is selling them at, uh, at his, his store. But here, I, I get my upfront money and 
we must go out to ourselves. And I like saunter out. All right. The door. Ah uh, yes, my little meow along, guys. What I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, you can you can head out of the uh, the tavern um, and the cat's revelries. You leave it behind. There are you know outfitters around the uh, the town if you need to purchase any equipment before you leave. Uh, and of course, it's possible that you could hire a, a, a wagon uh, of sorts or a litter to carry you there. Um, I do not need any litter. I already have plenty. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had two. Of course. Um, she, she's probably going to go into like a, um, oh, what's like a really good, like, uh, I don't know, she's going to go like, like to some kind of cat pun store um, and like saunter up and uh, get like, think of like those, um, like really like, like a cat woman kind of suit. It's mm-hmm. like really like oh, zips yeah. up all the way, you know? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I need to make a purchase, please. We, we can call that leather armor. <laughs> leather armor, okay. Okay. So, uh, she uh, puts down uh, like all these shinies that she, you know, she puts them on the counter, knocks them off the counter, puts them back on the counter, because um, it's. I need to get these purchases and make sure it fits it fits my physique well enough. I need to get measured again, and she likes saunters in the back to get like the the works. Nice. Some leather armor. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, does Princess Flufferton want to do anything before she? Like, maybe, no, Princess you know... Flufferton is most definitely also getting fitted for armor. Of uh, but she's gonna say, you know, you're real. You're only gonna need the small measuring tape. For her brain, I shout out from back in the dressing room. Ha, got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Princess Flufferton, um, as you're, you know, like in the changing room. Um, as you just got your kind of leather outfit on, um, there's a little kind of like tap on the door. Um, I'm changing. It, it, it is me, Meow Zedong. <laughs> oh my god, Meow. <laughs> and I open the door. What are you doing here? I'm so glad to see you. I had and I'm to just going to jump on him and lick his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just so like. <laughs> yeah, preening one another. Um,. And uh, Meow Zedong says, I, I had to come see you. I heard that you were leaving, and I could not be without my pretty love. No, my mom is making me go. I don't even want to. <laughs> she is I wish we could just run away together. I I wish that too. Perhaps when, when you return with large shinies, we can forge a litter together. Do you promise you'll wait for me? Of course. There is no one else but you, princess. Oh, I love you so much. Can, can I make a roll to, like, overhear <laughs> any of this and maybe, yeah. like, do that? <laughs> <laughs> roll, me a, roll me a perception. So this is going to be our first, perception. like, roll. So you've got a 1d10, which is your base score, and then you've got any bonus modifiers added towards that. I'll set the DC, and if you equal the DC um, or get higher than it, then you succeed. It's 1d10 plus 3. All right. I got an 8. <laughs> okay. Let me bring this up here so you guys can see the rolls a bit better. Um, an 8 isn't isn't quite good enough. You know, you hear something Damn. going on in there, but uh, you're not sure exactly, you know, it's pr- she's probably just talking to, like, the staff, you know? Mm. I'm, I'm probably, like, just sounds like it's, uh, sounds like she's just like, trying to get into this suit that she thinks, you know, is, like, it's like when someone, like, orders, like, it's, like, the really, really small suit that they can, of course, fit in, but not quite. I'm sitting here. Jeez, dearie, come on. You want your belt to buckle not your chair? I told you the clip drink and all that. It's 2%. <laughs> um, so, and, uh, yeah, so me also don't, like, you know, licks, licks you goodbye, uh, and I will wait for you, my love, and uh, slinks, slinks out of the room. <laughs> I'm just going to continue to admire myself in this leather armor, stick my butt out a little, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what about uh, Panfero? Um, I should have been there guarding the door <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> done a perception roll too so that I could have grabbed that little twerp. <laughs> but I was. I didn't pipe up, so, but that was fun. Um, <laughs> been cool to have gra- like pull- grabbed him right through the door and like, yeah. pulled him, <laughs> pull him out <laughs> um is um, uh is is panfero uh outfitting himself any armors 
Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I had already, like, typed myself out on my character sheet. Uh, I would like to get plate armor, um, a medium shield, um, uh, a spear, uh -huh. and a, a sword, and then a double axe, and then a crossbow for my... <laughs> it's just completely covered in weapons. <laughs> <It's> co <laughs> <laughs> this, this cat but he does. is completely covered. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, it's, he's cronked to his Yzma, man. That's what he does. <laughs> so, um, oh, fantastic. 15 retweets. Thanks, Super Wars King. So, fantastic. The group of you are outfitted and ready to leave. Uh, are you going by poor, uh, or do you want to hire a, uh, a, a carriage of any sort uh, to get you there quicker? Totally up to you guys. Um, I imagine Princess Flufferton doesn't really like traveling by poor too much, though. No, I do not. In the past, uh, Pantero has uh, carried on wagon, on the pulled wagon for Bon Catdip. What is, uh, what is Eartha thinking? You want to go by Paul or get some kind of carriage or wagon or? Um, Eartha is not going to go by Paul. She's old. She's, she's got some, uh. I will seriously never forgive you if we have to walk. I do not hire, want to. hire out some kind of steed, mm -hmm. whatever is used to transport these cats, okay. and uh, to get to where we need to go. So she goes to wherever this is. So what? <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that your uh, yeah. Let me think. Yeah, your uh, your carriage. Believe it or not, I'm just making this up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The uh, the the carriage is drawn by. Um... Is it is a cardboard box? <laughs> it's just, it's just a cup. Yes. <laughs> it's this big cardboard box. Uh, yeah. Which, it's just been left over from the the human age. Uh, the mm. one thing which hasn't been destroyed uh, or lost to you is the power of boxes, uh, and it's drawn by so... uh, some some very big rats which have been tamed. Yes, yes, yes. I... I, I like walk past like the little brand name on the side. Said yes, the the in Nintendo 64 Nintendo brand is perfect for <laughs> carrying me as I and I hop in and uh instead of like having a little cushion, she sits on. It's like the styrofoam padding that they use to wrap <laughs> contents in. Yes. That she's like claws out in her shape and lays down into. It. Yeah. It's got, so like, I'm literally just gonna turn in a circle and like knead yeah. and then lay down. It's got like little uh like someone's like uh kind of uh, cut out little holes for breathing in it, like little eye holes where you can look oh, out the God. side from it. <laughs> um, like you do. Yeah, so, okay, so uh, the three of you kind of enter into this new little litter of yours and are carried away into the uh, the forests uh, on your journey. So um, a few days pass by, and uh, to jump forward to some of the action here of uh, the campaign, um, you guys have entered into the uh, the forbidden lands uh, of the forests, and uh, you guys very quickly find yourselves in these dark, dark woods, uh, surrounded by uh, strange forest life, and uncomfortably far from your your nice homes where you guys have previously been living. Um, and as you guys continue to uh, to tramp your way through the forest, pulled on this little this little box, which is just running <laughs> along through the forest, <laughs> uh, you guys are following the uh, the trail uh, led by your map. Um, and as you uh, are following it, who's on? I guess who's on lookout? Because uh, at all times there'll be someone on lookout, I'd imagine. Whilst the others sleep, it is it is not me right now. I am sleeping. I am sleeping. All right, sure. uh, Panfera, you can roll me a uh, like a perception check here. <clears throat> See you, Sham. Thanks, man. Oh, I now won. Oh, oh shit! Oh, God. <laughs> So he's, um, he's, like, he's like playing with a, like a, <laughs> <laughs> a pool of yarn. He's just pouring at it right now uh, as you guys are traveling through the undergrowth. And um, yeah, you, uh, you slap another swarm of insects away and you notice that the, the trail ahead is growing noticeably wider and is mostly clear of debris and undergrowth. To Panfara, this is a good thing because you've had a bit of a bumpy ride so far. Um, but, um, as you, uh, approach this area, Panfero is caught completely unawares, 
uh, as something jumps out at him. Uh, a couple of things jump out at him, in fact, and you see that uh, there are these mottled fur uh, shroud rats which dive out from uh, the undergrowth around you. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're kind of like covered in these dark robes. They're very much the kind of skaven assassins, I suppose, of, uh, of this world. They've got these little daggers, and they're like... <laughs> uh, and uh, one of them says, Get them, boys! And, uh, of course, this is our excuse to uh, show off some of the gameplay uh, of, of the combat from, uh, from Cataclysm here. Um, so these guys are currently about 30 feet away from you, from within your litter box. Uh, but you can't fight from within your box, and you know that they're gonna like cut it open if you stay within mm. here. Uh, so let me scroll up to my uh, my combat six only here, and uh, it's time for us to roll some initiative. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, let me find this here. Initiative. There we go. Um, so the three guys jump out at you. They do have a bit of a, uh, a surprise on you. See, that's that natural, <laughs> natural one from Panferos. He's playing, just playing with his ball of yarn right now. God damn it. Yeah. Um, so let us, oh, I can't control it. What's my initiative? It's 1d10 plus one skill. Which skill is it? Uh, the reflex, maybe? Reflexes, there you are. Okay. That was my guess. One. Welcome in, Izoga. I felt like if there was such thing as a D9, we'd, we'd be rolling D9s. Oh, damn! Yeah. Damn! <laughs> damn! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Oh, 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 no! Oh, my little kid. We're sleeping. We're sleeping. <laughs> napping away. <laughs> we don't hear shit. No. Not just at sleeping, all. sleeping. Pawing a little. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to sleep in for a bit. Uh, so, um, let me see. So, Eartha, what did you roll? Oh, uh, I can check it for him. Do you, do you see that? Four. 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 Uh, Flufferton on a five. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, Panfero? I don't remember what I'm adding to it. Uh, your uh, reflexes. Ten and reflexes. Yeah. Plus whatever initiative bonuses you got. Yeah. Um, Alright, so that's an eight and reflexes. Oh, damn, you're quick. Well. No, 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 it's a, so it's a three in reflexes, but if it's defense, I have an eight, so it's different when I have that. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I'm not quick, I'm, I'm tough. <laughs> but, it, unfortunately, like, reflexes also put defense in there, so, like, it's... Yeah. Gotcha. Anyways. Alright, no worries. Uh, so, roll that, I'll roll for these guys here. Let me check their reflexes. Nice. Plus four. Damn, how are you guys rolling so bad? Yeah. Um, ones, though? Uh, these suck. guys these guys roll a twelve, so they are definitely <laughs> going first. <laughs> TPK. <laughs> yep, holy shit. Um so we've got uh Well Panfero going last, seeing as he Nat Wandy he's playing with a ball of yarn. So uh the turn order will be Shroud Rats going first, Princess Flufferton, uh then uh, Urfa and then Panafero. Yeah, no cat-like reflexes from this nope. party. Nope. <laughs> we don't land on our feet at all. Nope. <laughs> Not whatsoever. Um, so, um, these guys are going to rush in towards you, and they're going to move in. Uh, let's see, they actually have uh, longbows and arrows. They're actually going to be firing some shots Shit. at you guys. Um, yep. And they have a da, 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 plus four. Fantastic. Uh, so when it comes to uh, attack rolls, uh, they roll a 1d10 plus their bonuses. And you guys roll your defenses, which is a 1d10 plus whatever you have in your defense bonus. Um, so this one is going to shoot at Eartha. Um, four. A seven. So you roll your defense, and if you roll higher, uh, you will uh, save. Okay. So it's like a non-static AC. Okay, so defense. It uh. Defense doesn't hit no reflexes. Is it reflexes? reflexes? Yeah. Plus yeah. any kind of armor bonus as well. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so a nine. Nine. I'll take a nine. Uh, so yeah, the arrow just kind of 
and uh, just flies past Urfa, skimming across her, uh, her litter box uh, and missing. Um, <laughs> you can't dodge an hourly sleep. Uh, we'll say they've woken up when when uh, Panfero shouts out something. Um, this one's going to uh, shoot Panfero uh, for a six. Panfero, you can try and dodge this one. Um, I can already tell you it's not gonna hit. I have an eight with defense. <laughs> Damn, son. Damn. Panfero don't give no shits. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he just uh, dives dives out the way. Or probably just tanks the arrow. I want to say when it comes to uh, Panfero, just like takes it right on the chin, goes straight into the armor. Uh, and then the third one's gonna fight Princess Flufferton on a twelve. Ooh, Actually, a good no. roll for these guys at last. Yeah. Oh god! Oh, damn. Oh, it hurts damn. so bad. <laughs> Why does it hurt so bad? Uh, so let me see. Da -ba, da -ba -ba. What's the damage on a longbow? Let me find. Scroll up to my equipment. I'm not used to all of the damage dice in this game compared to uh, yeah. to D and D. I want to say it's a D8, but I'm, I'd just be making it up. Uh, yeah, it's like it spins down the life tracker. Thing. Spins down the life tracker. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the yellow, I believe, is what's happening. Yeah, you go down to yellow because there's a difference of seven between that. Um, all right, so um, so yeah, you basically... Uh, that's right. I, yeah, I've got to get out of my D&D mentality of rolling dice for damage every time. Um, so you take an arrow right in the paw, Flufferton. And it's like... <gasps> and the rat goes... <laughs> uh, so it is Princess Flufferton's turn. I'm loving this game. Uh, <laughs> I'm way too yeah, into so this. Yeah, so Princess Flubberton is just pissed. Yeah. You know, she's Peace. gonna look down. I just had this done, you bastards! And she's gonna pull out her crossbow and shoot at the uh, the closest one, um, closest yucky rat, which I'm assuming is. Uh, they're all about uh, you know about the same kind of distance away from you. Um. But, uh, so I'll just shoot at one, but what yeah. would be, um, what would I be rolling? Would it be, um, uh, uh, coordination? Would it if be... you're shooting, it's a coordination. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is, well, well yeah. yeah. Got it. Range is coordination. Uh, we're going to call, uh, the first guy that you're shooting at, Tail. Uh, we're going to call the next guy, Teeth. And the last guy will be... Scrawny McGee. Four. <laughs> oh, whoops. Should probably hit roll first. There we go. All D and D characters on this channel are now replaced with cats. That is correct. Yep. I've uh, no longer just a tabletop game streamer. I have become a cataclysm nope. only streamer. <laughs> My god, my rolls are Holy tough. Holy mackerel. Uh, We're gonna LARP with like real cats pretty soon. I'm gonna be just there. gonna yeah, actually, I'm just gonna buy cats and make them speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lock cats and people for spells, just... Yep, yep. Uh, so I believe if it's equal to a great land, usually it hits. I think it's the same with combat. Okay. I mean, I'm good with that, because that means I hit them. Sure. Okay, um, alright, so, uh, you're gonna get a kind of glancing blow on this guy. Uh, mm -hmm. it just kind of goes into his shoulder, the shoulder of tail, uh, and he's like, Nyah. I'm just uh, gonna hiss, just... He does, yeah, he ha he hates fucking cats, man, you know, this guy. Um, trying to organize players like herding cats, yeah. Um, so, uh, you can move if you want to, Flufferton. It's very similar, like, action, uh, action uh, movement. So, SD &D. I think that, um, that Flufferton would, would jump out of her, her litter box and, and hide, like, behind it. Alright, cool. Fantastic. Uh, Urtha, it's your turn. Urtha is going to hear these sounds of combat, like, open her eyes and just, you know, who is attacking my box? And she, you know, just goes on the side, and she has a feat called caterwauling, oh. where, and caterwauling says, scream like hell. The hero can make a cacophonous noise, which causes enemies large amounts of stress. That immediately puts up the three foes into their yellow face. Oh. She's gonna like throw open the, the lid and just <laughs> like that, and and. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> 
at all the rats. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they they become highly stressed by uh, the uh, the sounds of a cat, and they just hold their hold their paws to their ears like, ah, ah, no, 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 uh, as you scream out in agony using your powerful meowgic missiles uh, to uh, to assault the uh, the rats. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, Panfero, it is your turn. Um, what do you want to do, I man? Would, I would like, uh, I would like to, uh, rage. <laughs> <laughs> Cat rage. Sneak attack. I uh, would like um, to. So, I'm gonna, uh, barge in, uh, with, uh, my my uh my two-handed axe and and go go crazy so <laughs> let's see it so uh, uh you know usually i think you move 18 feet but we say we'll say that you can get there uh and uh yeah this is mingly <laughs> um and you can uh, swipe it in with your uh great sword or great axe uh it's a great act great act it's a, the two two-faced nice so two-faced. So two-faced. Um, so, <laughs> the, uh, let's see, and, and that melee is strength, so... Yep, that's... melee is strength. Six plus for, two. For most of you guys who are familiar with D&D, it's, it's similar kind of system, uh, so it's quite, should be quite easy to understand. If you have questions, though. So, eight. So, roll 1d10 plus... Why the net one? So <laughs> damn. <laughs> Let's see if they can beat it. I mean, it is possible for them to uh, to screw it up here, to screw the pooch, as it were. Uh, so let me see. Uh, four. They are on eight. So, um, so Panfero, uh, would you want to be attacking uh, Tail Teeth or Scrawny? Teeth. Of course, of course. Whichever, whichever one it is. Nice. So you're gonna send uh, send old Tifi into the uh, into the red here. As you cut him, uh, you cut him pretty bad, um, and you slice. You can, we can say you can slice off like his the part of his rat tail uh, into the bargain. <laughs> um, all right. So it's top of round two, and the shroud rats are gonna get their turn. Uh, so Tail is going to uh, attack Flufferton uh, with his mm. long blow, long blow, long bow. <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, a thirteen, Damn. princess. Does it matter that I was ducked behind our our litter box? Yeah, um, we'll give you. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what cover rules are in this game, but um, mm -hmm. off the top of my head, we'll give you an extra plus two to uh, your defense. All right. I'm sure I read it somewhere. I've just been doing it. Yeah, my <laughs> dice are not for cat adventure. <laughs> hey! That is a miss. Oh man, that is that is pretty damn good. Uh, so the arrow just kind of uh, thunks into a tree uh, next to you, and uh, he goes. Uh, Teeth is gonna fight back against Panfero. Panfero, my friend. An eight. Probably can't even get it, right? Uh, AC eight. too high. That's just me. Um, so I can roll, but I, I believe if it matches it, it's a. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you oh, touch me yeah. <laughs> can't touch this. I don't think there's a critical yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then the f last one is gonna uh, shoot at Urtha for a six. Holy moly, yeah. these guys can't roll the shit. I believe. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can't roll too high. Yep, just fires past you. You guys know that Shroud Rats aren't the most, uh, <laughs> one of the best uh, enemies, really. Um, Flufferton, it's your turn. Flufferton is going to jump out from behind the box and break out her whip and try and 
grab, um, oh, I don't know, teeth and mm-hmm. drag him to her so she can fucking bat him around. <laughs> All right. I like it. Poor teeth. What did he ever do? <laughs> It was the only name I could remember. He's got these, like, super, like, Siddler Sloth kind of, like, teeth <laughs> going on. <laughs> Pine cones. Uh, he's gonna try... I was born to play that role. Uh, mm-hmm. He rolled a seven. Um, so he's already looking pretty rough. Um, mm-hmm. Princess, how do you want to kill teeth? Ooh, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip him and, you know, get it around his neck and just drag him over to me. And then just do that disgusting cat thing where they like bat stuff around, you know, like dead mice and, mm-hmm. and grossness. And just play with them a little bit. Yeah. Just uh, and he is dead. Um, and then uh, I'm gonna drop his body at my mom's feet because you know <laughs> mm-hmm. a gift. <laughs> String him up. Uh, yeah, it is Earth's turn. Uh, there's only Tail and Scrawny still fighting. Which one was the one that uh, attacked? Scrawny attacked you. Scrawny. Yeah. Oh, which which one attacked uh, my daughter? Uh, that was tail. Mm. Okay. Oh, I um, Earth is going to uh, use some magic. Oh, right hello. Now, actually, um, she's gonna like reach into like her little satchel and pull out like a little balloon, <laughs> inflate it a little bit, and rub it on the dead body of the dead rat to get some static going, and then just. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna look at this other rat like, you need to get your dirty paws off my dirty daughter! And she <laughs> like, spits out like the magic at her. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Um, what does, uh, what does that entail? Damn! Like this? Fuck! Shit! Oh no! No! That's Tragedy! That's the song to cast this. Uh, it's an 11. So, um... So yeah, they managed to defend against your uh, your static um, <laughs> and ward themselves of it. Um, Panfero, what do you want to get up to here? You got Tail and Scrawny still fighting. Let's go cut him up. Let's go, let's go cut a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's All right. see it. Let me bring in my rat soundtrack now. It failed in rubbing. <laughs> Really didn't rub off on him too well. <laughs> uh, seven. Um, so, I actually do have rats. There we go. Uh, so, on a seven, Panfero. Uh, and this is against Scrawny or Tail, I'm only. Uh, we'll go for Tail. Okay. Uh, how do you want to kill Tail? Uh, up with his head. Nice. All right. All right, so you just lop off his head, um, and uh, it just kind of pops to the floor. Uh, it is the top of round three, and the last guy standing is uh, Tail. I forgot which one you just killed him. Uh, I wasn't listening. Scrawny. Scrawny. Scrawny's still yeah. going. Uh, Scrawny's a bit of a coward, really, uh, but he's still going to keep fighting. He's a trained assassin shroud rat, and he's gonna try and attack Urfa on a nine. Ah! <laughs> she gets hit. Ah! Oh! I'm talks. in the red. I'm in the red zone. The danger zone. Uh, so um, just kind of like stabs you, like, and um, hey, oh boy. Uh, and it's Princess Flufferton's turn. You got oh, one guy so, that's standing yeah, so. with you. Yeah, I'm gonna say, don't you touch my mom, you bitch! And um, I get, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot across though, Adam. All right, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Do, do not miss. <laughs> <laughs> do not shoot your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please no net one. Uh, what Please no net one, Arena. What was it? it? Was coordination, right? Coordination for uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Oh, Garao. Queen. Uh, ten. So, yep. Uh, how do you want to kill this little bugger? Oh, yeah, I just sort of want the the uh, crossbow bolt to hit him and send him, like, into a tree. You know, just, like, stick him to a tree. Nice. And off the top of my mom and into a tree. 
So, um, yeah, you you just kind of fire this arrow, and over, you stuck up on the uh, the tree, and the shroud rats are defeated. Congratulations. Um, you uh, you see the kind of blood on the floor from where you fought them, and you guys have got a couple of arrows in you, but most of you are still left standing. All right, you know, um, and. Uh, yeah, you, your box is intact, and you, thank, according to the map, us. are close to the palace now. Um, I'm going to, uh, I think, uh, by resting two rounds, I go back to the green, correct? Right. That's how it works. Okay, so I'm going to, um, you know, uh, like, pull out all the weapons that have been stabbed into me. Um, <laughs> it's got all look, these weapons in you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look down at these, like, these filthy, filthy rats, and um, look at the rats that are... Uh, Coding our um, box and just be like, oh, man, I hate these little environments. And I go like to hop back in and look all pouty as, as I did not perform well in that fight. I'm losing my edge. Yeah. Isn't it? Is it is with healing? It's if I wanted to use Neogic to heal you, it would also bring me down in like in a level, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you have to use um, like a life force to heal? Is that yeah, how it works? Yeah, you got your life force dial which you can use. But I mean, I better not do that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, we're 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 playing fast and loose with the the one shot, I, I guess here. So you can you can go back up to your green uh, after this rest, you know, perform little bits of magic and stuff like that. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna lick myself. Yeah, lick yourself. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, guys, is there anything on my back? Is it dirty? Am I dirty? I don't um, see anything that says that you would pull from your own life force for healing with magic. It doesn't matter. He's healed. Who cares? Yeah, <laughs> He's I'm, good. I'm fine. I'm doing she's, fine with me. She's good. Do not worry about me. Worry about her. And I look at <laughs> Bufferton. <laughs> so uh, the path has opened up. You're, there's less debris around. And according to your map, you're very, very close now to uh, the palace of uh, Sinha Hiss. Um, okay. Uh... I'm gonna lay the map down and like see like what possible if there are any like entrances like written on the map that kind of match what I'm looking at over here or what does do we do we see it you said or are we just really close? Uh, you're pretty close. The map the map only has like a we think it's here. Um, so okay. probably if you like turn a corner you'll you'll be able to see it. But you might yeah, want to yeah. go with caution, seeing as you know that there um, are shroud rats around. We're oh, in the God. forest. We're in the forest, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to climb a tree and see uh, from the top in the area from my perch gonna... how much longer before we get there this is seriously taking forever <laughs> uh you can roll me a forever forever you can roll me a, a perception check over as you're uh up in the canopies i'll run my dc then for a second should be back um that's a hot face that is a that is a mm. sexy girl right there if i've ever seen one um, so, uh, Earth is climbing up the tree, Panfero and Flufferton are down on the ground, um, I guess one of you guys can shimmy up the tree, you can both run me perception checks as well. Nice. Uh, there we go, so the three of you guys climb up the tree, um, so nine, seven, um... I'm slow, I'm slow! Perception! It's okay. Uh, okay, so... Uh, you guys see that the dense forest gives way to an open space dominated by this huge skeletal structure winding, winding around the grounds. Uh, the palace of Sinha Hiss is a mass of vine-choked yellow brick. A sign hangs crooked over a massive steel portcullis that faintly reads oddities. And a small outbuilding juts out from the palace's entrance. Thick, acrid smoke billows from somewhere within the palace, the smell drifting down into your noses. It must be venting for a high open window or chimney 20 feet above the ground. So, you've got this one main entrance, you've got the outhouse, and then you have some possible chimney area to enter through as well. Mm. And it's a hum human-sized location? Yes. Um, and you see that along the trail, before you get to it, there are two uh, yurts. Uh, which most likely belong to feral cats uh, or feral rats, or perhaps both. You heard that they're in alliance. Um, so there is one trail leading up. On the right-hand side and the left-hand side, there is a yurt, which you're going to have to pass by, most likely. 
um, to uh, to get through to the palace which lies beyond it. Um, I'm going to uh, gather gather my um, crew and mayhaps we can maybe ambush these yurts with some sort of flaming at on fire and send them scattering into the the little hovels. Whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, Pantera. Miss, miss, Mr. Pantero, in your army of weapons, do you have anything that could be used to maybe start a flame that we can uh, launch towards their directions? Oh, uh, I mean... <clears throat> uh, da. Uh, we, uh... I, I has uh, flint <laughs> and steel. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes we... cloths, uh, crossbows. You have axe. You have axe. You say too as well on your back. Okay. Duh. We take. We take flint. We take steel. We take axe. We cut down trees. And we build a catapult. Oh, and a catapult! Can... Hello. <laughs> and we can we can launch <laughs> flaming flaming missiles at them from the trees and set them aflame. Nice. There's a, a cheeky little map uh, on the uh, the stream follows in chat to see what kind of tracking. Um, and we have it 20 retweets, so oh, shit. the quick viewer decision here is going to be underneath this line here in chat. You guys are going to tell me, what defends the palace of Sinha Hiss? What defends this palace? Aside from feral cats and rats, there must be something else hiding out there, right? <laughs> Right. Um, so, um, let's get those ideas in underneath that line in chat. So you want to cut down some trees, create a catapult, and mm -hmm. launch flaming missiles at the yurts. Yes. That is what I suggest. <laughs> Alright. That is strategically acceptable. But how long will it take, though? Um, well, if you would quit whining and start working, it wouldn't take long at all, now would it? I, uh, snap at her. You are not fair. Um. <laughs> okay. Look at, uh, look at the face now. This is good. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, yeah. I'm, this is fantastic. I'm turned off. <laughs> um, so... Why bring little girl on... <laughs> oh, wow. Savage. Savagery. Um... <laughs> Are, how are you guys going about making this catapult? Are you guys involved? Um, I imagine that panfaro has got a big axe, so he's probably going to be the one cutting down these trees. Uh, I'm going to gather up like debris and like water them, water them up into little like you know giant chunks of ammunition that can be lit. Like roll up a little uh, dirt ball, like you know dead twigs, dead leaves. Mm -hmm. um, and put that together. Okay, cool. Um, you can roll me a tech mechanical roll, uh, seeing as you are creating a machine here. Shit, I'm gonna yeah. help with that since I'm... I got a one in that, so me I'm gonna too. stay over here. <laughs> and Tara, what's, what's your tech, you said? <laughs> I only have a one in it as well. Oh, me too. shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. It's, it's okay. It's okay, we, we'll do this, we'll make this happen. I will try to put something together, and I got a six. Okay. Uh... <laughs> if I did it with you. So. Okay. Um, so, you're going to create this catapult. Um, it's not the most effective or well-tested machine which you guys have ever created. <laughs> Um, but it, it does stand there, you know, like, uh, you know, like, maybe like 15 feet long, uh, you can fill it through with, like, uh, you know, debris, and you could, like, set that on fire, you think, and it would probably fly somewhere. You have no idea as to the accuracy of this, however. Um. Way to go, guys. That looks totally janky. Well, uh, time out, time out, time out, time out. She, she, like, looks at what we got, <laughs> looks at our <laughs> supplies and things, like, okay. I, so say it's not very accurate. We don't know if we're going to hit anything, but maybe if what we throw in there on fire could then maybe seek out, run around and spread the fire some. So it doesn't matter where we land, it'll spread fire everywhere. And I eyeball our mouse, our mice, two word, we're hauling the uh, <laughs> box around. 
So we tie some their tails together. We put Jesus. we put them into the ratapult, <laughs> and we create like a bolus that it's everywhere. It's a big giant, you know. Like we, we put we put we put one in, and it's tied to all the others, and it creates like a big like rope that's fire. It lands and it runs everywhere and sets everything on fire. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's I'm like genius. Like mom, gross. I am sorry, but. Sometimes war brings out the first in most of us. You're so embarrassing. <laughs> so uh, the two mice like, please, no, please, don't, do not eat us, please, no, senor. We are not going to eat you. <laughs> <laughs> do not find us in big ratables, please. <laughs> or, or the kid, it's just like, like oh, oh, I'm sorry, but I cannot hear your your uh, begs of mercy over the sound of my desire for silence. <laughs> madam, madam, may I intercede? I, uh, and is either of you decent? And I look uh, over at the princess at sneaking. Oh, let's see. What? <laughs> I love this idea. Which you, one oh, is sneaking? You create this fire cat you and you're like, which one's sneaking? <laughs> sneaking? You coordinated enough to sneak in and take a look and see. I guess I could if I have to. Yeah, she's very good at being sneaky. She's very good at lying. She's very good at avoiding Mom, being caught. Mom, stop! God! Could, I mean, there could be some cute, cute rats over there uh maybe they have maybe they found your boyfriend sneaking around and following us you know that like feral cats are like totally the bad boys of uh of, like cat culture oh. they're like she, the greases tattoos yeah. <laughs> <laughs> such a bad boy <laughs> all right i'm gonna go sneak i guess check uh, out their their rat cycles Okay, so you're going to be a stealth check, uh, Flufferton, as you're going to sneak by the yurts uh, here. Okay, so you see, uh, as you're sneaking along, uh, and the Kata Ratapult is back with uh, Eartha and Panthera lying in wait to, f wait to fire the mice out from it, um, you see a handful of small mud yurts which are set up around a fire pit at the edge of the palace clearing. There is a piece of some sort of meat on a spit over the fire, and the smell is somewhat rancid. The yurt looks suitable for smaller creatures with always two feet tall and it's home to shroud rats uh, you see some of them are on patrol a total of eight of them which you spot uh, around these yurts um, and on the other side uh, of the trail you see uh, four large yurts made of rubble stone and mud which are sitting off to the side of the main path leading to the palace each yurt is about 15 feet across and they have leaf covered roofs Sun-bleached bones are scattered about the entrances to the structures, um, and you see that there are the uh, a couple of uh, feral cats uh, around here, currently kind of lazing in the sun uh, and and kind of and sleeping. Um, so you've got eight rats and four cats. Um, are any of the cats exceptionally muscular with like facial hair and tattoos? Uh, one of them is, yes. Um, mm. ex exceptionally so, uh, even for a, a feral cat. You know that he just, you know, he wasn't made for the city life, and uh, <laughs> he, he must have <laughs> struck out on his own. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go back, um, uh, and I'll be like, first of all, guys, it is disgusting over there. Like, seriously? It's like they don't even clean anything over there, and everything is made of, like, gross leaves, and 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 twigs and and there was a really cute cat though um he had a lot of tattoos um and he looked <laughs> like, mom seriously i'm an adult now just, um, be just because you're 10 months old doesn't mean you can just choose all these things <laughs> did you find another entrance um there Gee. were some rats I saw and and there were some feral cats and they were pretty disgusting um um but it looks like the only way to get in is like 
right through there. So if we set it on fire, there were lots of leaves and things that could work. It could work. Yes, it could. And I, I bought the two mice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to say though that Flufflin didn't manage to get close enough to the palace, you know, she'd have to actually sneak past. So she would stay at a safe distance, saw the yurts, uh, but the palace is, you know, never like 50 feet uh, to the north. Uh, so, Eartha, what's the plan here? Uh, the stage is set. The pieces what? are moving. <laughs> <laughs> I, I as grappling hook, um, could shoot rope, climb wall. Yes, we, <gasps> or better yet, how long is your rope? Well, guys, there was like a ton of rats over there. It's what are they, you going to do? It's true. They will see us. They see us. Maybe we use our flaming rats to distract these rats. Then we get them the catapult and get to the castle that way. <laughs> ah, you want to fling yourselves in the catapult to the palace. <laughs> this can only work. end well. It yes. could work. Or at least fling... <laughs> Pantero and his rope, so he can. Oh wait, no, the, the entrance is on the ground level. Yeah, um, but there is a chimney entrance. Um, oh yes, we could fling you to the chimney, and we will go down the top like Santa Paws. <laughs> Guys, maybe Bye. I could just talk to the feral cat. Oh, I mean, like, that's right. You're very good at talking to horrible, horrible boys, and I um like gather like Pantera together like okay she's going to go in she's going to do all that stuff she does that I hate she does but fine it, it's working it works this time it's works. and um okay I kind of uh like nod you'll do what that if, what if we hide in cart she walk up with Ooh. her cart full of things and yes. uh, talks her way in pull us along that is true we can hide put put we can uh ooh, we have shinies right Put our shinies yeah, into the card. We have big shinies. We put our shinies into the card, and she comes in with all these, these presents, these, these, you know, and and herself, and just you know, we, we sneak our way in, by uh, like 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 a like a, like a Trojan horse sort of thing. Or uh, if she she any good dance, or we could uh, I could be bouncer. You could be oh. agent. It's true, it's true, it is age. Well, yes, 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 yes. She could be the celebrity I always knew she could be. <laughs> okay. This cat dance scenario is really weird yeah. in my head. <laughs> 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 We've got like five different plans breaking into this place. Okay, so uh, so the the, uh, the moment of what is the plan happens. Uh, so the plan is, if I'm following correctly, Flufferton goes in, seduces uh, Big Cat Boy, and um, Earth and Panafero are going to assist in that? She does not need our assistance to be a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think essentially... Mom, please. <laughs> um, he's going to be the face, and then we're just going to be like... Uh, like, like the backup. All right, yeah. okay. Okay, like, cool. Essentially. All right, so Princess Flufferton, um, mm. you're going to... Um, uh, you're gonna head up to the uh, the yurts, I guess, and make yourself known. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna straighten up my outfit and do my extra fancy like cat prowl up there, mm -hmm. um, and just sort of uh, say, um, "Excuse me." Uh, there is a uh, a couple of kind of purrs go out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I heard there was some really big, strong cats in here. Uh, one of the, uh, the, the four cat like, the rats are like, hey, 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 uh, and then the, the four cats kind of wake up, and the big, the big cat kind of, does a big stretch and yawn, uh, just to show off all his muscles. So hot. And, um, and he's like, uh, ah, see, madame, there are some very strong cats in here. Are you well, in need of I some assistance? Yes, I got attacked in the woods back here, oh, no. and I am really afraid to. Oh my God, your muscles are so big. See, 
I am really afraid to go back into the woods by myself. And I was really hoping that someone in here would be able to help me. Well, uh, yes. I'm sure I can be of assistance to you. Oh my you God, don't can want... I touch your tattoos? <laughs> of course. This one I got uh, when I <laughs> killed my first rat. <laughs> and uh, and he says, they call me Big Nips. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> See. <laughs> See. So, you wish to stay here in my warm, warm embrace, no? Oh my gosh, that would be delightful. But I was, I was really hoping that maybe, maybe you guys could come with me. I dropped my bag when I got attacked, and I'm just, I'm too afraid to go pick it back up on my own. Oh, do not worry. I will. Big Nips will come with you. Thank God. <laughs> oh, Big Nips, you're my hero. Really, thank you so much. Come on, boys. And uh, the uh, Big Nips and his three other cats are uh, coming with you to go and find your bag. <laughs> <laughs> so I think as as we as we get them past the cart where I know now they can pounce on them, I'm going to use my feet. And I, I also have caterwauling. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so as they come out, I'm just going to scream like, oh my God, guys, right now, just really loud and horrendously teenagery. <laughs> All right. Well, the camera's moving around. Um, fantastic. Uh, Fluffton, can you roll me a D10 thousand for speedy, please? Uh, sure. I can. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're alerting Eartha and Panfero to, uh, the uh the planet loom mm, yeah yes i am screaming super ridiculously high pitched and loud and um what does it do i doesn't it stun them it stresses them out I into the it yellow it them out. knocks them down to down to yellow yeah mm. uh, it hits at the three okay uh so yeah um so you just kind of scream out and they're like nah um, and oh my goodness, you look at uh, Big Nips' tattoos, Flufferton, and mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. at this moment in time, you see that uh, like they're all swirling in all sorts of different weird, weird colors. Um, mm -hmm. All ink in 50 yards is powerfully hallucinogenic. Uh, it's a D10,000, and uh, you, you're just kind of like tripping out on his tats right now. Um, okay, so yeah, so she, I'm on the ground and my, my cat eyes are that huge, like, your cat's about to go fucking crazy at yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning, just... <laughs> so, um, let's roll initiative on this one. We'll say that, uh, Princess Fluffin gets a drop on them. Uh, and it gets to cast that spell. Uh, Meowjik, rather, I should say. Meowjik, please. Like, let's say Meowjik as many times as we possibly can. I'm actually... Oh, I, I'm trying to make it allergic fun. Um, <laughs> well, was initiative initiative was reflexes? Reflexes, right? I believe. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Mm. Big Nips is gonna roll. He rolled an eight. Okay. Uh, Fluffton, what did you roll an initiative? Uh, nine. Uh, no, I didn't. What did I roll? Did I roll a nine? Uh, yeah, you did. Nine. Yes. Cool. Nine. Uh, Eartha, what did you roll? Um, let's see. It was. Uh, nine. Fantastic. Uh, nine from Urfa and Panfero. I rolled a five because I nat one again. <laughs> Proud of you, man. Uh, so we'll say the Flufton has gone first and used to get an action to cast a spell here. Um, sorry, Meowjik. Fuck. Um, so it's the turn is going to be Flufferton, Urfa, Big Nips, and Panfero on round one, and the cats uh, are in the yellow right now. Um, so, Fluffton, you've taken your action to do the Meowjik. Uh, do you want to move away from these guys? I mean, aren't I transfixed right now? Yeah, or... You're right, yeah. You're just yeah. like... Ooh. So, he's so strong. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you may have betrayed Big Nips, but Big Nips is Big Nips still transfix you. Um, <laughs> it is Urfa. Urfa, your turn. Um... Eartha is is mortified at that her daughter is in 
that she's she, and um, she just going to scream. <gasps> My daughter is transfixed on big nip cat nip drug trip, and she's going to like. <laughs> <laughs> I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> My it's daughter gone. is fixed. Tran trans transfixed fixed on big nip cat nip drug chip. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. Are you quoting that one? Please say you're quoting that one. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I love how she immediately knows. She just looks at him, looks at her, and she knows. And, she... <laughs> and she's going to uh, like, like just barge in, like just like. Actually, she's going to hop into the catapult and aim herself at Big Nip, and with claws out. Fantastic. All right. What can you do to Big Nips? <laughs> uh, so we're gonna have in this combat. <laughs> what are we gonna do, my Big Nips? <laughs> Uh, you got uh, Big Nip uh, is the main leader. We're gonna have Lil Puss uh, as <laughs> the uh, one of the backup guys. Uh, we're gonna have uh, I don't know Scratch, Scratchy, and um, Big Paw. Okay. This pro. <laughs> this <is> pro. <laughs> uh, so Rem, that's a nine for Eartha, right? Yes. And this is on Big Nip, so he's a little bit better than the rest of these cats. Facts that me. Alright. Uh, it is a seven, so a success. Um, so, uh, well, is this the same spell that you're casting again? Hmm? Is this the same. No, like, no, no, uh, no, no, no. I was, I was launching. I'm just going to go jump to the catapult and towards Big Nip. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Uh, in that case, that was, yeah. that, was, that was my initiative roll up there. <laughs> oh, my mistake, my mistake. All right, so yeah. In that case, then uh, you jump into the catapult and just uh, launch yourself straight at Big Nip. Uh, you're now in combat with him. Um, all right, uh, that's Urfu. I mean, Urfu, you can take an action. Uh, that can okay, be your um, movement also. I want to like try and like, like just slam into him and like, boom, like, you know, roll, like one of those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Nice. What's happening? All right, yeah, let's see it. Just uh, what? What would I roll to see? What kind of check? <laughs> um, I guess like uh, strength. If you just want to kind of bowl on him. Yes, big me about. Let's see. Six. Yeah. yeah uh, I'll roll again for him. Just for the sake of it. Seven. So. Oh uh, damn. So you pour on him. He says, "I've had bigger pussies on me." Ha. Ah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is Big Nip, Slow Puss, Scratchy, and Big Paw's turn. Uh, so these guys are already in the yellow, however. Uh, so Big Nip is going to uh, attack back on Urfa. Now, how on earth does he do it? Uh, it's a ten. Okay, let's take that reflex. Add, yeah, the armor to it. Correct. Yep. Okay. Any other bonuses? Eight. Ah! Oh! Nice. Uh, so he uh, he slashes at you with his big claws, um, <laughs> big claws, his big paws, uh, and uh, gets you down. Uh, okay, uh, Lil Puss is going to uh, do a thing as well and try and attack Flufferton, uh, and uh, and she's like, he's mine. Uh, a ten. Okay. Can I actually? I mean, am I? Can I be untransfixed by these tattoos yeah, now? Yeah, you get. Uh, mm -hmm. You get. You do get multiple. He attacked my mom, so you exactly. Know. Yeah. Yeah, you do get multiple defense rolls, uh, even if you get attacked several times in a turn. Mm. Oh, Garal. Yes. Um. So there's like this like like cat real cat fight going on right now, where you guys just like clawing at each other's faces, like me, uh, <laughs> like trying to slap <laughs> each other. <laughs> All right, Scratchy is going to do what he does best and scratch at Panfero for a seven. That's not nope. enough. Um, so it's just kind of like, it's just like, why can't I get Frodo a <laughs> heavy armor? It's so big. Little. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this cat is like, it's just so big. I just can't get Frodo a big brute. Uh. uh 
so, um, <laughs> I didn't go too well for me, you know. Uh, Big Paw is gonna slap his big paw into Big Earther. Um, <laughs> for a nine. Thirteen! Oh, Garol. Yeah, you, uh, you save. Uh, and it is Panfero's turn. Take my sword out of its sheath and just gut scratchy while he's right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, his brother Richie isn't gonna be too happy about that. Oh damn. Twelve. Uh, so yeah. Um, how do you want to cut down Scratchy? Just gonna stick it right into his gut and twist, uh, and then pass him off the sword. <laughs> uh, passes passes away. Um, all right, uh, round two, Flufferton. <laughs> uh, I'm currently fighting with Witch Cat right now. Uh, you are next to Big Nip, um, and, uh, Lil Puss. Oh, Lil that's Puss right, I was the... defending against yeah. the cat. Um, mm. so Big Nip is currently on my, my mother right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna see if I can pull my whip out again and yank him off of her. Only ever the tip, Sean. Only yes, ever. yes. Whip the nip with the tip. <laughs> I cannot with this shit. I cannot. <laughs> Technically, there's like three or four tips with the whip, but I mean, let's do it. <laughs> the multi whip. Uh, it's an eleven, so oh, not shit. a success from. Is it a cat uh, nine tails? Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, multi tip, not multi whip. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, um, it just, man she just manages, like, to, to pour back against you, um, and you can't break through her defenses. Uh, Urtha. Yes, I'm going to, um, uh, do some Meowgic right up on old Big Nips. Um, I guess, uh, flavor-wise, the way it looks is, hmm, I guess, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna roll and see what happens, and then... All right determine what goes on so plus five because she got that magic I let the dice magic. design Ooh, 15 oh, yeah. uh these guys yeah can't save against it uh wait is it big nip or just a group big nip. Big uh, nip. in that case big nip could save mm -hmm. oh no! <laughs> hey it's like harry potter yeah <laughs> like, yeah you got like <laughs> they're, they're, they're like rubbing against each other on the back and creating static <laughs> <laughs> your well, tails yeah, like yeah. instead of magic wands attacking, it's just like your tails are out and like flapping yeah. against one another. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I love it. Uh, Big Nip is gonna is gonna take his turn um, and try and uh, and nip attack you with the nips. Uh, uh, for for oh girl, fifteen. Damn. Can you save back? Uh, I don't know if I can save against that at all. <laughs> It's no, a, oh, I've, been nipped, no. I've been nipped down to the black zone. Oh yeah, dear. So, so black is dead, right? Yeah, black is dead. <gasps> but, but tell, explain. Oops. Explain to chat what happens next. Yeah. So, so Urfa, what happens when you go down into the black? Uh, do, do you have you go more black, You lives? do come back in <laughs> this game. God, that's terrible. Um, uh, but you've got multiple lives to, uh, to, to track here, so, um, yeah, so, um, we will, we will see. So, um, let's, that's, uh, big nip, so Lil Puss, Lil Puss is gonna attack, uh, Flufferton on a 12. I believe. <laughs> oh, oh god not good not so hot um, i'm in the yellow <laughs> i'm in the yellow guy all right uh that is then gonna be uh scratchy's dead so big paw is gonna attack panfero uh that's actually only a 14 not a 15 my mistake no oh Panfero <sighs> takes the first hit. Um, it is Panfero's turn. You've still got Big Nip, Lil Puss, and Big Paw. Or Medium Paw. <laughs> Slim Paw. Finally seen a challenge. He's gonna go right up and, uh, and, and, and 
try to sword him. Let's do it. So the sword. Seven. Oh, eleven. Ooh. All right. Hmm. This is plus good. four. Thirteen. So it's a save. Correct. Uh, okay. Next round, round three, Flufferton. You got big puss in your face still. Sorry, little puss. Uh, so... <laughs> My mistake. So I think um, I'm going to use some Meowgic. Oh. Uh, I'm going to try and conjure up one of those little, like, kitty sticks with the feathers on it, uh, okay. just in midair to keep them occupied, so that I can maybe punch one of them in the face. I like it. Mm. <laughs> Grow another show a poor. <laughs> you got a big person in your face now. Uh, 13. Uh, let's see how these guys are. 13. Um, so, I think we said uh, equals for you guys would be a hit. So, um, uh, and I'm also conscious of time. So, how do you want to kill uh, Lil Puss, Flufferton? Oh, all right. So, so I conjure this little like feather stick, you know, and and like it waves above their head. Mm. And when he's distracted, um, I will like wrap my whip around his his neck and just chill them. <laughs> nice. The savagery. The savagery. <laughs> okay, he just got to <laughs> and dies. Um, that is Earth's turn. You've got Big Nip and Slim Paw. I'm still well. Okay, so uh, I'm back to green now. So how it works? I'm down one life. Ah, uh, let me check. I believe there is a process to going down. Um, uh, life dials. Do do do. I'm. I think that's how it works. I remember reading it again. My memory is just a fucking mess. Let's say how that's how it goes for now. There might okay. be a process of getting up, but hey, we're one shotting it as well, so. Okay. Similar to how we um, uh, we play rules in D and D when you go it, down and one shot, just comes up. Yeah. Even even without standing up, though, I'm like waking up. Oh, you and I still see Big Nip, um, and I uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go for like some more magic. I'm just gonna go straight for that magic. Wouldn't it be hilarious if all the enemies that were cats had nine lives too? <laughs> God, that the combat would never end. This game would last forever. <laughs> it would last for nine lives. Fourteen. Uh, okay, Big Nip is an eleven. How do you Ooh. how do you murder Big Nip? Yes, I um, conjure the. I sent. I, I, I execute him in the only true way to fully get rid of a cat. I conjure up a little river beneath him, and then a bag that he that jumps over him, ties him up, drops him in there, and he sinks oh, to the bottom of it. Ram. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I say goodbye. You are the runt of that litter. As I as he sinks the bottom, <laughs> and it wow. makes the river disappear. I'm just gonna wow. longingly look after the bag. He was so cute, though. <laughs> but now he's dead. <laughs> Slimpore is gonna attack Panfero for a seven. Nope. Uh, takes it to Panfero's turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's skewer that little run too. Let's do it. Damn. Uh, yep. Yeah. How do you? How's it die? I can't save against that. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm gonna uh, just uh, slice his throat and kick him away. Nice, solid, solid move. <laughs> um, and uh, you have defeated the uh, the cats here, leaving you guys just with the uh, the yurts of the rats. But they're not the, the cleverest of enemies, um, so it might be possible to sneak past those guys. And a palace lies. Uh, before you guys as well, if you can get past the yurt. So you guys drown, slice, kill, whip, and throttle the uh, the cats, and Big Nip is no more. I'm gonna I, uh... walk up to Panthero and like just run a hand on his arm. You are like totally savage. Duh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> <laughs> um, Earth, Earth the kid is going to have another one of those damn schemes in her head. She's, okay, listen. Here's how we get past these rats. Pantero, you big, you're strong. The rat I just drowned in my magic voodoo bag was also big, strong. These rats are stupid. We dress you down, put, that, put paint tattoos on you, and you will be the big nip. 
<laughs> Who's he saying this to? To Panfero. Panfero, okay. How does Panfero about feel about becoming the new big nip? Feel good about it? I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, I could, uh, or could you scare the the tails off these rats with their dead friends? Um, Earth, Earth, uh, she doesn't like the simplicity of your plan. <laughs> this is not complex enough. <laughs> it, is, it is not complex enough. We have to go through. <laughs> why, um, why not just raid dungeon for a human relic? Well, we have to sneak sneak past these rats to get to the dungeon. I do believe that is the thing we have to do. We take I pull out, out my makeup kit. I can totally put tattoos on you. Yes, yes, she would love to, to touch your muscles because that is who she is. I um <laughs> say Pantero <laughs> no like touchy. Um oh, roll against him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me it could be an opposed check if you wanna make up him. You wanna roll against my physique? Alright, <laughs> let's go. Alright. <laughs> oh, we're rolling physique? Okay. That's that's a rolled like while him. Yeah, if you have charm. Yeah, that could uh, work. I do, I do. I put all my points in. Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, <because laughs> this is 16 versus an 11. Thing. Yeah. Is, is, yeah is I literally, I picture him just like pushing my face away <laughs> as I walk up to him. <laughs> like, no. All right, then. So, um. So, the, uh. What is the new plan then? If Panfara will not become the new mm. Big Fine, 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 fine. No, if he will not be as a big nip, then uh, we'll have to take another tactic. Um, we will, fine, we'll, we'll scare these people with these dead bodies, and I, I'm not like the keenest on picking them up, but I will if I have to. All right, okay, cool. I am not touching that. That is gross. <laughs> well, guess what? You failed your horrible charm check, so that's what you get. Actually, I don't think I did. I think that was his role from previous. I think uh, I won that one. Uh, she, she beat me by, by... Ooh! Oh, damn. Oh, okay. My mistake. Uh, so in that case, Big Nip uh, is is before you now. Panfero... Yeah, I just use my makeup kit and yeah. just, like, fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him up, man. Fuck him up. Go Wilma Delish on his Unnecessarily ass. touching his pecs and stuff yeah. as I... Uh -huh. As you put these cat twos on him. Mm, cat -twos. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, uh, that's ten followers, so viewer decision. Underneath this line here in chat, guys, you guys gonna tell me uh, what magic item is within the palace? Mm -hmm. Underneath that line there. Uh, okay, so um, you guys can head towards the yurts, uh, and the uh, the eight kind of shroud rats come out, uh, and they see um, Panfero there, completely make up by uh, Princess Flufferton, uh, and they're like, oh, where, where did the others go, boss? Eh. I'm just going to do like a... Cause he's speaking a Russian accent. <laughs> <laughs> These guys get me. Uh, <laughs> they're like, uh, right, I'm not one for time. Gotcha. Okay. What, what, what should we do then, boss? That, that towards the palace or towards the woods? There's no way this can fail. Towards the woods! <laughs> <laughs> what the? Uh, uh, tell me you got neutered. <laughs> Do my. My. Uh, oh! Overdid cat nip! What, what's happened to your voice, boss? You're gonna win! <laughs> I, I think too much nip. Right. Ah. Uh, so we'll we'll just go towards the woods then, and 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 hang out there for a bit, maybe, whilst you sort out your 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 voice. Yes. Many buzz of fur. Right. Many, many nip dreams. 
follow. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Nip, nip dreams. You got it, boss. I could not share, Nip. I killed. I killed all the, the cats. You killed all your cats. Why did yeah, you? Yeah. Did you slay that pussy? He had a nip there. <laughs> I'm slaying a pussy! Wow. Proud of you, boss. <laughs> ah, alright, well, we're, we're just gonna... We're just, we're just gonna head this way, and, and you can stay here. Uh, uh we... We're, uh... <clears throat> we're, we'll, see, we'll see you in a bit. Ah, we'll definitely, we're definitely coming back. Definitely coming back. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, yes, bye! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, bye. <laughs> Who's ever said that? Yes, bye. <laughs> yes, bye. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the new K Fakes bye. <laughs> yes, yes, bye. bye. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Alright, here's the, uh, the straw poll for you guys. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Um. Fantastic. So, uh, you, Earth and Flubberton, you see, <laughs> you see the rats, uh, you know, walk past you guys. They're like, he's really weird. Like, I don't know what's going on with, with big nips there, but there's definitely something gone wrong with him. Maybe a cat's got his tail. Uh, and, um, yeah, you, uh, you, you go back to the yurts, you see that, uh, Panfero in tats is just standing there. The entrance to the palace is open before you guys. Okay. Eartha Kitten's gonna pat him on the back and very good, very good, very good. I knew, I had a feeling that you would uh, do such a swell job. You're, you're a very good cat. You make a very good mate one day and I, I have all my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> wink. Not, not the gent in hell. Damn. Savage. Shots fired. Uh, so the the palace is open before you guys, maybe fifty feet away at this point, and um, yeah, you see that the doorway itself, uh, cement columns hold a shingled roof approximately twenty feet above a stepped stone platform that leads into the palace. At the end of the doorway, a uh, short stair enters the palace proper, um, and between the columns, you see that two raskfang rats pace. They haven't yet. Seen you guys, um, but these guys are seemingly the guards of the uh, the palace itself. I kind of look at them and so what 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 uh, methods do we have to get past these new rats, these beast rats? They look really gross. Well, they are rats. Uh, let's see if I uh. What if we can get the catapult in here? <laughs> She's kind of like... Yeah, you can you can look up and there's like the chimney entrance. There's also a side kind of outhouse building that you possibly could enter through. So you don't have to go. I'm gonna go. Door. I'm gonna go peek through the outhouse. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, through the outhouse, uh, you kind of uh, skirt around the palace, and you see that you've essentially come across the food store. Uh, there's a mountainous pile of food which is filling the floor of this chamber, uh, and it looks like a doorway leads into the palace itself. There are cupboards and shelves that hold bottles and jars of wines, jams, and pickled delicacies waiting to be devoured. The odour is pungent, and you can definitely detect the smell of mould and soured food. You see that cured meats hang from the ceiling and ripe cheeses swing in sacks from the shelves. Um, and uh, it's just, it's just delicious looking, you know? Okay. Mm. It leads into the palace, uh, like itself, if you wanted to enter into through there. But it is going to be a, a task not to uh, just devour some of the food here. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, I see. I see the hanging cheese, and I say, well, I could probably use this hanging cheese as a distraction for those rats in the front. And I try and like sneak open the window and go inside. All right, you can roll me uh, some sneaky, sneaky here. Sneaky snake, sneak cat. Some sneaky snake. Sneaky snake, and this I'm would be. What snake. kind of roll would this be? Sneaky snake. Uh, let's see, for sneaky snakey. 
Uh, like intuition, it. intellect, perception, meowjic, tech, magical, physique, reflexes, coordination, strength. I believe coordination is the one. Coordination. Okay. Oh, I, got, I got a three in coordination. Nice. I'm, I'm, I, have, I have no first, so I can fit in tight places. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically like the eight. dexterity of this game. Uh, okay, so an eight. So you open up the window and you sneak into the palace food stores uh, where you can uh, see all these delicious, ripe cheeses and slightly sour mm. cheeses as well. Um, I'm, I'm, the... I'm going to go full Skyrim and just take all these cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you, um, you, you grab up all the wheels of cheese and there's a doorway leading into another chamber where you can mm. see beams of sunlight shooting through uh, an opening in the roof. And it looks like Ooh. there's some kind of big, comfortable-looking bed uh, mm. within this room. So you're still in a kind of side of the palace. I kind of, like, peek through a keyhole or something to maybe look a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can roll okay. me a perception check. Perception check, my perception. 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 Mm. Which I'm surprised it's not spelled that way on the sheet. Yeah, that that is. I got a, I got, I got a five. That is my one and only complaint about Cataclysm. Mm -hmm. I, I... <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> the word meowgic is also not used enough. Honestly. Not enough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, five. Um, so you can you can see through a little bit. Uh, there is this big, comfortable-looking bed in here. It's stacked with plush pillows and fluffy <gasps> blankets. There's a mural oh. scratched on the wall behind the bed, stretching a long way to the chamber's ceiling, which depicts a massive adder coiled atop an erupting volcano. The bodies of cat warriors litter the base of the volcano, while other creatures can be seen trapped within it. A low wall surrounds a pit in the northeast corner of the room, and an open archway in a wall that divides the room shows a side chamber with filled food stores. The food gives off this repugnant smell, which seems to link to your own chamber. It looks like if you could go around, they probably link mm. up that way. Um, the large bed uh, definitely calls to uh, to home to the group of you who've been traveling for a long uh, time. And as cats, you do fucking love a sleep. I uh, I look at the other two and say, "Yes, I see that the uh, the big adder painting is a little ominous, but all oh, those pillows, I want to need them." I want to need them so bad right now. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad right now. I am really tired. I mean, we could just sleep. We'll just take just a, take a little cat nap. Life. Little cat nap. What the door the, is still closed, Lemon, of course. What the treasure? Just a little. I'm mean, just like, just like a tiny little nap, just like a small one. The treasure will still be there when we are done. I have to, I just want to, I just want to need, need those pillows, really. I've not needed a good pillow in so long. Uh, Oddly sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly. Oh, uh, I got All a right, pillow. mom. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Take, take the cheese. <laughs> leave, the, leave, the cheese. The leave, leave the gun. Take the gun. Take the Pantero, Pantero more box cat. No pillow. Uh, I, no I got a door. All right. So Panfero uh, opens up the door, um, and uh, that's just that's just Panfero making that noise, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and and um, yeah, you see, um, oh, it's uh, it's it's a pretty big room here. Certainly made for uh, creatures the size of yourselves, or perhaps even larger. Um, you see that there is one. Uh, Raskfang rat who is currently sleeping on the bed that uh, Urtha didn't uh, mm. manage to spot. And there's also a giant adder skin on the floor. For a second you think it is your mortal enemy, uh, <laughs> an actual giant adder. However, um, it's just the skin of it. It's uh, where it shedded recently. And you see this huge kind of like membrane-y white folds of skin where recently a gigantic adder has... Uh, Shed itself of its burdens. I can't look at them. Well, if, if the rat is still alive, then does that mean that the snake is not here? I would assume that the snake would be eating the rat. Uh, maybe snake full. True. Maybe snake dead. And that is that is snake skin. We, we, we know that a snake has been here. We can. But what do we do about that rat? How, do we, how are we going to sneak up and end his life? Uh... I do have cheese. I still have grab hook. 
You could uh, yes. sneakiest of all <laughs> weapons. Can't we just have muscles go up and give them like a little bang on the head? I want to be done in here. There why is not, a uh, why that whiny kitten go sneak more? Yes, let's go sneak. Kill the rat. Imp but I'm impress tired. him. You have, to, you have to impress him, otherwise he will never love you. I, do you not like shinies? There must be many shinies in the room. So I'm sneaking in. All right, sure. <laughs> there is a 20-foot pit uh, off in the northeast side of the room. Uh, which you notice uh, looks like it's uh, jumpable. Uh, oh. So you want to sneak up to the... Or jump down. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? What am I sneaking in here for? I don't even know what I'm sneaking for. You, you want you want nap. You check room for, for safety. Are you not going to come with me? What if it's dangerous? I, I know sneak. I clang clang. I clang clang. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, so the sleeping rat is going <laughs> to... Whoa, whoa. And he's starting to like look around. He's starting to wake up with these kind of like bleary, sleepy eyes. Is is it possible for me to like dive under the bed? And yeah, dive? yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Um, so you like you just whoo, uh, dolphin dive underneath the bed, and the uh, the rat just going oh, I was, I was, oh, I thought I heard something. Oh, uh, must have been. I want to. <laughs> As he's waking up, I want like, because I'm still at the doorway, like, yeah. toss a piece of cheese in and then hide behind, like, the doorway. I'm not in the room yet. Like, toss out in, like, the middle of the room. Or Fucking try, like, magic cheese. <laughs> Who knows? Of course. He's, he's probably, he's probably dumb. Yeah. Oh, the, the rat, the, the rat just kind of, like, grabs it. And he's like, oh, thanks, mum. And just, he's, like, clearly still in, like, a bit of a dream and just starts nice. nomming on the cheese. Oh, so he's off the bed now? Uh, he's, like, yeah, I guess off the bed. And then he's going to roll back onto okay. the bed. How big is this bed? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's big enough for a uh, cat. So as a rat, you know, he's slightly smaller. You could probably fit two cats on this, and it'd be like three or four. Oh, okay, so it's like a cat-sized bed. I was thinking it's like a big old human-sized bed. I like... mean, you guys are like this is relative, right? Because you guys like human cats, so. Yeah. Oh, we're like, human-sized cats. Size of a human net. Uh, oh, I thought I thought this whole time we were like cat-sized, but stood on no. hand legs. Okay. Yeah, the average cat in this lore is like three yeah. to five. Oh, okay. I, I'm sitting here thinking we're like a foot and a half tall. <laughs> it's even weirder now, right? <laughs> yeah. God. Oh, it just got better. Um, so, so yeah, the the cat, you know, sorry, the rat has got the cheese, uh, and he's going back to his bed. He's turned his back to you, uh, for if you want to do something, and you see that your daughter Fluffleton has dived underneath the bed. Um, I'm gonna meow jerk him. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy, I'm a magic <laughs> Fuck this guy, I'm gonna meow. I'm gonna magic him right meow. Uh, let's see. Pull up, roll up. Let's see. Pull up, roll up. Pull him up, roll him up. Hold him in the face. Seven. Okay. Uh, let's try and do a. Oh! Uh, so you kind of like yell out, and he kind of turns. And he throws the cheese up into the air. Uh. <laughs> Flufferton, you're underneath the bed. Uh, I'm imagining Poise waiting in case he does something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what do you wanna? What do you wanna do? Can I? Can I pounce out and land on top of him? Yeah. But... Yeah. Just, you fly out. <laughs> do I need to roll for that? Uh, yes, you need to roll for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roll. <laughs> what is your? Hang would this be? For? This would be coordination. Yeah. Uh, yes. Alright, okay. he's gonna try and say on a five. Uh, so he's surprised, he's got a bowl of cheese, he's just woken up. How do you kill the rat? Oh man, I can kill him? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so um, I just uh, I just Throw pounce him. on him and, um, you know, break his little rat neck and pick him up and put him in front of my mom. Because <laughs> it's really important to me that she loves me and yeah. she yes, knows. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Very good, very good there. Good. I, I picked the cheese back up and put it in the sack as well. <laughs> just nice. in case. Yeah. So and now just... I jump up on the bed. Nice. It's a very comfortable bed. Very comfortable. Indeed. I'm just kneading the, the blankets and spinning around in a circle. 
you, uh, yeah, it, now you get a proper chance to look at the room. There is this pit in the northeast corner, which goes 20 feet downwards into darkness, and it's the only exit out of this room. It seems that it doesn't connect properly with the rest of the palace. I'm gonna throw the dead rat down there. Okay. Uh, there's a large kind of, like, slump, uh, and, uh, sound of, uh, the body hitting, uh, after a few seconds. It seems like there was ground not far below there. Okay, so, so uh, can we make some sort of light? You have your flint. You can maybe take the flint, uh, set one of these pillows on fire, and throw it down there and get a bit of a uh, image. I look over to uh, Pantero. Uh, can do? Uh, what what of snake, though? We, we, we do not know. Maybe the, if, if snake is down there, then we don't go down there. If snake is not down there, we could go down there. You've uh, you have heard that the treasure is at the bottom of this palace, and it might be defended by a snake. Okay, snake is probably there, but we have to we have to kill snake. <laughs> the three of us, one of snake. It doesn't even have hands. That's maths. I'm literally fucking sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually asleep right now, <laughs> taking it out. Pantero, Pantero have history with snake. Uh, they kill my crew, and they they tough. Do you want vengeance? Do you want to kill this, 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 this adder, this beast, to I avenge mean, your crew? Would be nice, but, uh, eh, fuck it. And so <laughs> he'll throw a burning pillow down into the, into the All right. Uh, yeah, you can see down, and it looks like there's a kind of like series of tunnels running down there. Um, there's a sound of kind of like dripping water. Uh, looks like there's a, a leak somewhere. Um, and, uh, yeah, you see the body of the rat down the bottom as well. Um, so Panfaro, uh, dives down on his, like, little rope, uh, leaving Urfa and <laughs> Flufferton above. Flufferton's asleep, of course, uh, but which you've now realized. <laughs> I, um, I go up to her and it's like, ah, jeez, oh, he's sleeping when there's work to do. And I, like, grab, like, the edges of the blanket to, like, pull it up and, like, like, like a, make a sack out of it. Yeah. And just, like... Come on, dear, and we just like cut down the, 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 the in it. So yeah, so I'm doing that freaked out cat thing under the blanket, <laughs> like. <"Rah!" laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the group of you find yourselves in these uh, dark little tunnels uh, down here. There's a entrance before you guys, and, and both ways, in fact. So you could go forwards or backwards. Uh, both of them seem to come into a uh, like a, a turn. Um, and it's quite dark, but you can you can see something. Um, I'm gonna sniff down one of the the bottom path. Okay, roll me a uh, perception check. Perception. I have a three of that. As I sneeze. Sneak sneeze with my sniffer. Got a nine. Nice. So on a nine, you definitely get the smell of shinies coming from that direction. The unmistakable coppery smell of big shinies. Uh, treasure definitely awaits down that. Okay, dearies. There is big shinies down this way. I can smell it with my shiny sniffers. We have to, uh, we have to probably creep down this way, though, if there be a snake. Because we do not want to get surprised. Duh. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, so, is this like a sewer system? So, it's like a little bit of water? It seems or... like it's a sewer system. It's dripping. Uh, this kind of like fetid sort of water down upon you guys in different places. Alright, so uh, I'll take the lead and with my shield in one hand and a spear in the other and kind of use the spear to like poke in the, gr in the water a little bit as I'm going. Um, and uh, just turn back and say, um, if it's too deep, maybe you know swim. But, but Pantero can't swim. I'm imagining that the shield is like 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 an umbrella right now to stop him from getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all we're all huddled underneath it. <laughs> yeah, maybe for them, for the courtesy for them. But uh, a Maine Coon isn't afraid of water. They're actually a cat, uh, a sea cat, so yeah. they can actually swim, and they're not afraid of water. So there you go. 
Um, yeah. Quit bringing reality into this crazy ass adventure. <laughs> no, it's in the lure. I learned about it. Because oh, damn. Yeah, uh, Rem, I don't actually see cats in real life, mate. Damn it, I'm so <laughs> sad. Meowchick isn't real. I'm sorry, dude. It's all about this I'm one of an ocean cat. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> So Panfero uh, leads the way for the group as they hide under his shield, um, and uh, you turn a corner uh, into this uh, next chamber, and you're in a very large chamber. Your eyes immediately fix upon the massive skin of an adder lord strung from the ceiling in the center of the room. It takes you uh, a moment to confirm that the skin is in fact not moving, at least not yet. The treasure beneath the adder looks to be primarily medium and large shinies, with a few weapons and suits of cat armor partially submerged within mounds of precious and shiny treasures. Atop the pile sits a dark cylindrical object with a glass lens of human origin. And you also see one other thing as well, which is a ball of yarn. Um, mm. And it's rolling around. And it doesn't oh. look as though the ball of yarn is ever running out. <gasps> I dart for it. Yeah, no immediately. Just <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> All right, cool. So um, it's it's time to roll some initiative as a snake uh, queen oh, is going <laughs> to uh, dive into action as you. Uh, as you try and steal her treasure with a hiss. No. All right, let me find that one from this girl. Thirteen. Thirteen. We're rolling initiative, yeah. We're rolling initiative, which is uh, plus coordination. Ooh. I get all kinds of plus initiative because of my weapons. Oh, my weapons. All right. <laughs> The names for the NPCs in this game are fantastic. Uh, so, Urfa, what did you roll? I rolled 13. 13? Uh, Panfero, what did you roll? Rolled a uh, 13. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got Falafiton on a 10, yeah? Mm hmm. And this girl has a coordination of 2, okay. A nine. All right. So the turn order against the Adder Queen is going to be. Uh, Urfa mentioned she's going for the ball of yarn first. So Urfa, yes. followed by Banfero, Flufferton, and then the Adder Queen. So Urfa, what do you mm -hmm. want to do, my friend? I flee towards the ball of yarn and grab it. All right. You have a ball of yarn in your possession. It is clearly a meowgic, as uh, it, it doesn't look as though it's ever running out. Oh. My. Best tit. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, uh, so do I notice the, the snake now? Yeah, uh, absolutely. It's like, <sighs> just above you, coming down from the ceiling. I'm going to, like, uh, hold the yarn up, like, ah, like, maybe can, like, get its, like, teeth, like, stuck into the yarn instead of me. <laughs> All right. Um... So we could call that, uh, uh, we'll give you like a plus two to your defense as you like defend uh, okay. against the, uh, the adder. Okay, uh, Panfero, you see your mortal enemy, the, the snake before you. What do you want to do? I would like to rage. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I uh, would like to just sort of, uh, go shit, go cat shit, as it were. Go cat shit. Uh, I'm gonna go catch shit. Uh, my hair's gonna stand up on the back of my neck, and you know, you know, and uh, just go straight at it with uh, my sword and shield in hand. Nice. Um, Talk shit, and... can't nip. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put my shield on my back real quick, just in like a quick like slinging motion, and and then like with like do like what like this, and then grab the double X, pull it out, and then just uh, charge. Nice. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see your attack roll here. Ooh, an 11. Let me check her stats. Her stat block here. Uh, it's gonna be a... Gosh darn. 
It's gonna be plus six. Uh, wow. Uh, oh. she saves. Um, so you just, like, batter this, uh, this axe against her, uh, her side, but no effect is had, uh, on her, uh, her thick scaly hide here. Um, okay, so that is Flufferton's turn now. Um, I think I am going to conjure up a big shovel and try and bring it down and chop her in half. Mm -hmm. nice. All right. With my meowjik. I just want to make sure I say that. Of course. Uh... You actually get bonuses when you, uh... Mm. When you say meowjik to every roll. Uh, yeah. she's got a plus six, uh, an eight, so you succeed. Ooh. Uh, so, uh, tell me how you wound the, uh, the Queen Adder. I mean, I just have this, uh, this big shovel conjured and it just comes <laughs> down and chops her in half. So there's, you know, like, the head half and the, <laughs> the tail half. I love it. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, you just see, uh, it's like some of her just got split in half, like, <laughs> She's and I just grab the tail half in my mouth and like shake it around a little bit. Oh, yeah, mm. ruined. Um, it is the other queen's turn, and she is absolutely angry. Uh, she's going to attack Princess Flopperton with a twelve, oh. launching in with her uh, her fangs here. All right. <laughs> Uh, coordination, right? Yep. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, that is a hit. Uh, so she I'm sinks... in the yellow. Oh, Garol. She mm. sinks her uh, her poisonous teeth into your furry behind, and uh, and it really hurts. <sighs> oh my God, that really hurts. <laughs> it's round two, and Urtha, your daughter is getting getting bit on by a snake. It's giving you the. Give me some blood bites. Is about it. not happy at any of this. Mm -hmm. um, she it's takes just... the. Ma she's going to use her magic, but like combine it with the yarn itself, and try to like, like wrap the snake up in it to like you know try and restrain it. Awesome! And thanks so much to Shalom for the five pound donation. Birthday table, bitches. Who do you want to give it to, Shalom? Uh, fantastic. Um, Eight. Got 12. 12. Okay, let's see if this girl can save. She's got plus 6 to defense. Damn. 10. Uh, nice. Mm. So, um, describe to me another wound to uh, Queen Adder here. The, uh, the yarn flies up in the ball, and the ball just starts like wrapping around like her and like getting all over. Yeah, like, like going all around the snake, and um, uh, I guess like just some crushing power hurts it. It like, like, like it tries to bite it, but it's getting like dragged around and I've got it like I'm like holding the, the iron on the other side of this world to like kind of keep a restraint like yeah. a, a snake kite snake kite a, a snipe okay snake. Sn <laughs> snikes uh <laughs> panthero it is your turn my friend uh looks like uh Shalom wants us to roll a d6 to determine who gets the birthday. Hey! Yeah. Uh, Urtha, you can roll a d69 Happy here. Happy birthday to me. So, uh, Panfaro, what do you want to do, mate? Um, I... Uh, well, I just want to keep hacking at this thing. Just fits of, fits of rage. Actually, you know what? I'd like to throw my spear and try to hit it in the eye. Okay. And let's see, that's a throw, so it's going to be coordination. Um, so that's a three. That's All right. As so we'll see. Not, not bad. Not great. Okay, fantastic. Uh, that's great. Let's see if she can defend on six. She does. Uh, manages just to, uh, for it to kind of like ping off her, uh, her side here. She's cut in half, so she's a smaller target. Um, <laughs> Urfa, you you grab something up on the floor as you realize there's some sh large shinies inside a purse. You look inside and there are thousands of shinies in this. And uh, this is um, the birthday booty. An unassuming leather purse. When you open it, you find it always contains 3,000 large shinies, no matter how much shinies are taken in or put out. So you've got, you're just, you're living the dream right now, man. I am. Yeah. Um, I got it. 
that Prada. <laughs> Get me our money! Uh, <laughs> it is uh, Flufferton's turn. Alright, um... You're getting bitten and this is worse the time that Meowzadon gave you a... Uh, gave you a hickey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that Flufferton is going to turn around and try and shoot a crossbow into her face. Alright. It's always a good place to hit people. Mm. Uh, from, from personal experience. Alright, a 10. She's got a plus 6. Oh, she saves. Oh, she's bad. She's bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so she hisses at you guys and... You cannot pierce my eye. So, uh, that is Flufflin's turn. Out of Queen's gonna take her turn. She's gonna bite into that booty of Urfa. Uh, as, uh, as she, uh, as Urfa steals her shinies. The shinies are mine. A 15, Urfa. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't draw me back into the bike again. Oh, down oh, another God. life. <laughs> down another life. I'm an old cat. I'm an old cat. Can you teach an old cat new tricks? We'll find out. Uh, that is the Addis turn. She bites into you. You fall down, losing yet another of your nine lives. Down to seven, Urfa. It's round three. It's your turn. Okay, uh, I wake up and I, I see this the snake in front of me. And uh, how big does she look? Uh, how big do I, does she look? Let me actually find uh, you her dimensions here. Or how, how beat up? How beat up? How beat up? How beat? Oh, sorry. How beat up? Uh, she looks like um, she could take a couple more hits. Uh, she's definitely wounded, but by no means dying yet. I am going to. Uh, oh, wait. I'm going to try and grab her fangs and rip them out. Grab your fangs. <laughs> like so. All right. Even that roll. So would this be a strength check? This would be a strength, strength, yeah. And she'll, she'll defend the level six. Uh, but... three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, so I'll, uh... just, I'll just hold on to the fangs now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, and she just... <sighs> so you're like grabbing... Like, it's that moment where like Harry's got the basilisk fangs, but he's just like holding on to it right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Panfero. While she's doing that, I want to go up to a tray like chop it in the neck while it's, while it's distracted by all this with my great axe. Nice. Oh, 16. damn. Yep, that's a hit. That's a critical success as well. Yeah. Nine more. Yep, if you ever do nine or more difference between the two, then you get a critical success. Let's read up exactly what criticals mean in this game. Literally the only one today. <laughs> I was in all honesty, and I'm glad we got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, da, 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 I've got critical injuries. Uh, I roll a two d10s and add the sum of the two dice. Yep. Let's see and it. the sum is compared to the critical injury chart. <laughs> Let's see it. I believe. So this could be anything from rolling more critical injuries, being dazed, knocked out, or just instantly killing the creature. And the same goes for players as well. 14. 14. Open wound. The target will bleed to death in three rounds. Uh, so Panfera, you just open up this raking injury uh, across the side of the Adder Queen. And uh, you know that in a couple more rounds time, she is going to, uh, she's going to die. Uh, all right. The blood like spewing out of the neck. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Flufferton, it's your turn. She definitely looks wounded right. now. So I am definitely pissed off because she's, you know, got her teeth into my awesome new leather armor. Um, so nice. I am tired of this your bitch. Your cat suit. <laughs> my... <laughs> uh, I am going to use some mat meowgic. Oh man. To... Mm -hmm. I'm going to conjure up a honey badger. So yeah. that uh, it can just eat her. I like. Give no shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, thirteen. She's got a thirteen. So yeah, honey badger appears. Um, Forrest the badger. 
uh, and just begins <laughs> to um, just roar and uh, and begin to uh, attack the adder. And as we all know, adders have one weakness, and that is honey badgers. Barry! <laughs> <laughs> It's the Adder Queen's turn, um, and she is going to fight Urfa again, just just lay it on thick on a nine. Oh! It's savable, it's savable. It is, it is. I can maybe... Ooh! Oh. That net one versus that net ten. Damn, girl. Uh, yeah, you just like her teeth sink into your uh, your paws, but have no effect. Uh, it's yeah. round four out of six in terms of when she's gonna die. Uh, Urfa, your turn. I, um, I, uh, kind of, like, like, lean in real close to the, to the, the, uh, snake. And I'm just like, you know, do you have enough lives to get out of this mess? <laughs> and I go to, like, try to, like, claw her underneath, like, the chin or something like that. It's just, I don't care, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad at <laughs> I'm a bad stuff. girl. I'm, I'm a bad mean, girl. I'm bad. I'm a mean bitch. <laughs> mean ass bitch, bitch. Let's see. Let's see, would this be what kind of roll? Uh, you're using. I mean, what are you using here? You've got. No, just, just clawing her up. Yeah, strength uh, then. That's four. Damn it. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be impossible to save. Yeah. I but. suck. <laughs> uh, Panfero. She's bleeding out here. Uh, I'm gonna hop. Uh, stalker. I'm gonna hop over to the other side. <laughs> and, uh, I missed Stalker. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> hop over to the other side and try to cut the other side. Okay, cool. Trying to lumberjank this uh, snake's head off. 13. 13. Let me see if she can defend against this attack. This brutal attack. Oh, she can. Oh. Yes, she can. Mm. Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, she's <laughs> Flufferton. What's it gonna be? All right, uh, Flufferton is gonna try to shoot her with uh, another crossbow bolt. Do it. Uh, oh my God, what a six! Ah, uh, it's not gonna be enough. Will do. Yeah, not gonna be enough, unfortunately. Uh, she's gonna attack. Uh, Urfa, an 11. 11 versus my armors is gonna be... She's gonna try and take as many lives with her as uh, <laughs> she's dying here. Oh, Rem's jibbing out again for a second. I'm sure he will return momentarily. Mm -hmm. Um, alright, so let's go back round. It would be Urfa's turn. Um, Panfero, let's go with you. Let's jump ahead here and we'll go back. Alright. Uh, uh, I'm gonna swing it, swing again. Alright. Swing! Mm. Okay. Uh, and she's gonna roll a 15, so she saves. Um, <laughs> so, Urfa, we miss, we kind of miss your uh, yeah. turn here, so you can you can act. What do you want to do? There's a honey badger, uh. there's Panfera, there's Flopperton all over this creature. She's, she's dying soon, but. Um, but I wanted to. She's gonna take you with her if you're not careful. Um, in that case, I'm gonna try and grab. I'm gonna empty out the cheese from my sack. And just throw it over the, <laughs> just throw it over the, the snake's <laughs> head. Oh, say that again. Okay. Um... <laughs> Get the cheese out of my sack and throw it over the snake. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, a cheese sack roll, uh, which will be a. Uh, coordination, I guess, to sling your sack. Sling my sack. Sack go, attack. Go happy secky. Eight. Yeah. Uh, she could roll real bad. She could. She didn't. She don't. She didn't. <laughs> She's like, why is it cheese? Uh, <laughs> it's Flufferton's turn. Flufferton is just gonna pounce on top of her head and start scratching at her eyes. Let's do it. I like that there's not a static AC in this because it keeps it interesting. Yeah. Mm. A bit more rolling involved, but. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that decided would be her initial. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the Adequi is going to take her turn to try and take down Princess Flufferton on a 15. Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what do we roll for defense? Uh, Your armor reflex. and reflex. 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 Good, good news, hey then. bad, fellas. Cool. So, uh, I'm yeah, in you're, the you're in the red. You're in the red. But, as it's Urfa's turn, the Adder Queen is going to bleed out this turn. So, Urfa, how do you want to finish it off? I, um, grab its fangs, I unhook them so they're putting down, aiming down, and then just, like, like make it bite its own bottom jaw. Nice. Ooh. It just, yeah, it just kind of, like, crushes itself, and its own fangs go through its, uh, for us, for us, top of his head, basically. And you can like bend them backwards. You bend it like Beckham, right. and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the creature just kind of uh, jutters and dies there on the floor, leaving you guys with a whole pile of large shinies um, and the magical items in this chamber as well. Mm. So, um, in the aftermath of this battle, what do you guys do? I uh, want to extract the two fangs from the snake. <laughs> nice. Uh, you can like <laughs> rip out its uh, big fangs, and uh, you can use these as weapons. Yes, I got them like little rapiers on my side. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is gigantic pile of shinies. Uh, Earth has already picked up some of them, uh, and it's a bag of shinies as well. Um, and there's this black uh, book which has been requested uh, by. Uh, Shadow Whisker, your uh, your Spanish companion who sent you on his quest. <laughs> oh, Whisker's Shadow, rather. So Whisker's Shadow. My mistake. I've got. I look at my purse like I have all the shinies I need for a long, long time. So someone snatch up that book and we shall like, go back to our box. I'm literally in the corner, like cleaning myself off. I'm supposed to see Meow the dog tonight. I look terrible. You're supposed to what? We're in love, Mom. I don't understand why you don't get me. Look at me, I look horrible. You've been loving that Zedong for... It's not a lot better. You're like, oh, I just storm off. I storm off. I'm <laughs> pissed. Pissed off. She <laughs> is pissed. I'm throwing a hissy fit. Pink <laughs> <laughs> Pharaoh oh, is calling out the name of each one of his dead crew members. This is continuing to hack into the snake, actually. <laughs> All right, go. Cool. Um, so the group of you uh, destroy the snake's body, harvest whatever you need from it, get the shinies, get the book, and head back to uh, the tavern where Sir Shadow Whiskers first met you, the Cat's Revelry. Um, it's a, a long journey back uh, as you return back in your cat litter box, pulled, a, pulled along by the couple of uh, wary mice who are definitely terrified of you at this point. Uh, you return to the little tavern, and uh, so Shadow Whiskers thanks you for uh, your service. Ah, thank you very much. Here is the rest of your uh, payment. And Princess Fluffington, Fluffington, I, I believe there is someone waiting for you downstairs. <gasps> I just pounce down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like, the group of you kind of like bound down the stairs and you, you see Sir Fluffington and Meow Zedong is down there. Uh, and uh, he, um, he gets down to, to one paw uh, in front of Princess Fluffing, Flubberton and uh, from, from behind his back he, um, he produces this, um, this little kind of jug of milk uh, and uh, he says, Princess, will you make me the happiest pussy around? <gasps> oh, meow, of course I will. Will you make me the angriest pussy around? <laughs> it out from upstairs. Uh, he's like, ah! Uh, and he's like, come, let us elope together. Flee from your mother. <laughs> your mother does not have fleas. <laughs> he has fleas. <laughs> so, so Meowzadong and Flubberton, I imagine, just like rush out. Just, yeah, just pouncing out the door completely, yeah. like, licking each other. <laughs> And uh, Urfa and Panthero are left. Um, now, in the, the aftermath of this quest, uh, and of course there is far much more uh, in the, uh, the actual adventure if we wanted to play through the whole thing, but what, what, is, um, what does Urfa get up to in the coming weeks or days? Um, 
I imagine she's probably uh, submitted these fangs to be outfitted into regular weapons. She, she, she's gotten that taste of adventure back. Uh -huh. you know, she, it's, it's, she's got that, uh, it's about time to, you know, she's got, doesn't have too many lives left, but she's going to use them for Wisely. adventure. All right. Just... Cool. Cool. What about uh, Panfero? Where does Panfero go next? Panfero's going to find a tanner uh, and make a cape out of the uh, skin of the snake uh, <laughs> and have one very large barbecue at seaside uh, for all nice. the sailors and pirates uh, <laughs> and cook up some some snake cook up a storm uh, fantastic so, yeah wow uh, and I imagine that uh, Princess Fluffadon and Meow Zedong's future lies together is that correct mm. Sleeping Jen? oh yeah oh yeah I feel like She's definitely going to be a kept kitten. She, you know, she's not going to do any more work, no more adventuring. She's just going to let Meow the dog take care of her. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. So, uh, the tale for our heroes today is, of course, finished as they get married, go on adventures, or just have a barbecue on the beach. Um, and uh, that's where we're going to be wrapping up today's first game session of uh, Cataclysm. Uh, it's been a ton of fun. You guys can find it online here. That is the uh, the Facebook page for Cataclysm. And if you're at all interested, then please do go do go and check it out. And of course, if you enjoyed this uh, first session here, then uh, then please do let us know in chat if you if you enjoyed this because I certainly fucking loved it. Um, and I think is is obvious by the game which, the session which we just had. Um, we're sticking around though, we've got another three hours. Uh, we're going to be doing some D&D one-shots coming up here in just a few moments. Uh, some short little bouts with some auditioning players for next season. So stick around and we can uh, some grill some new folks coming up here. Um, <laughs> crazy amounts of clism, yo. Yeah, there was a lot of <laughs> clism right there. And uh, a whole lot of cats <laughs> as well. But let's go around and I want to hear you guys, uh, what did you like about uh, Cataclysm? Because it's our first time playing it. I'm sure we butchered some of the rules that we were, you know, uh, on second playthrough or uh, uh, close attention we would get correct the next time around. But what do we think of this system overall? Uh, my own thoughts being that it's actually really nice and simple. Uh, and I've played a lot of these kind of paid promotion games where they become like very complex. Um, but this one was just like nice and easy, roll a d10 and add a number to it, and I really appreciated that about it. And it was just like very memey and also very creamy as well. Um, Rim, what are your thoughts on, uh, oh no, he's frozen, so let's not go to Rim. Let's go to Jen <laughs> instead. Uh um, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. It's absolutely hysterical. Um, and like you said, it is super easy to pick up. So whether you've been playing RP games, you know, forever, or you're literally just starting, it is so easy um, to learn. And you literally always go Meowgic. Always. Every time. Every mm. time, just max Meowgic. That's the... <laughs> That's the secret behind this game, really. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. Um, Tex, yourself. I uh, wasn't sure what to expect out of this game. Um, I mean, everyone's probably seen Coda on screen. I, I do have a dog. I don't dislike cats. I'm just more of a dog person. So <laughs> it was really hard to wrap my head around being a cat at first. Um, however, I will say I usually play Khajiit whenever I play an Elder Scrolls uh, game. So um, it's... I'm not opposed to playing a cat. There you go. Um, but I, I, uh, I really liked the mechanics actually, um, yeah. and I, I had a blast. I don't really think we did too bad of a job of mucking up the mechanics because yeah. they were fairly simple. Like this is a really easy game to pick up and play. Um, uh, there's not much for uh, like advancing in levels per se, but it could be easily done with giving them experience or giving mm -hmm. them points different attributes or magical yeah. weapons um this oh you just played the no, demo this, as well you know that's not even the finished uh oh exactly i mean this once this hits kickstarter and i honestly uh if i uh land a new job here uh i plan on uh throwing in some money for it this this was really well done and really fun actually um so um and i'm not even a, a cat lady so it was it was great um yeah uh i get i I, uh, I like the the continual defense roles. Yeah, I and, like that as well. Um, I I did like how armor gave you a minus to certain things, like depending on the armor that you had. 
and like reduce your movement speed and no one got knocked prone but there is like stuff for that too so yeah, it yeah. actually feels like dnd but like you were saying it's a lighter version um so uh highly recommend this one actually guys i uh, had a ton of fun of course how can you not have fun when you're playing with such a great cast and and will does a fantastic job with npcs and and throwing fun things at us but yeah this is a blast fantastic awesome uh rem yourself yeah um it was uh fairly simple to get into um but uh like you know, there, there was that bit of confusion of i guess the beginning where i guess it's always confusing about when you're starting a new game to make oh, yeah. your own characters instead of just getting a uh character sheet with something already done yeah yeah so yeah. So I guess if um if they do proceed with this and go to release it, they would probably need to include like a starter kit as well. Yeah, pregens. Um, it's with pregens. Yeah. Um, just a kind of like an more of an introductory set. Um, I will admit I was a little disappointed when I found out that our cats were a little more human sized. I thought they were gonna be like <laughs> like like normal sized cats, like <laughs> like running around these like old human like houses and stuff. I thought we could hop on the bed and <laughs> run up there and fight. <laughs> In your, in, in your homebrew game room, you can do that, you know, when you inevitably yeah. launch your next yes. Cataclysm game. That yeah, yes, happen. we'll do that. We'll do, we'll do, we'll even do Kittenclism, where they're all little baby kittens. Kittenclism, okay. yes. That's the follow-up, we'll second edition. We go smaller. <laughs> we have to go deeper. We have to go smaller. <laughs> we have to go cuter. <laughs> Holy shit, Roll yeah. Well, cute. Fantastic, yeah. Um... And uh, if you guys want to link your Twitters, Twitches, and stuff like that in the Twitch channel, that's, that'd be a good idea as well. Um, fantastic. Uh, so thank you guys at Cataclysm for letting us play this. Uh, thanks for sponsoring the show and, uh, and letting us play your game. It was a ton of fun. Actually, way more fun than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting it to be fun. Because, um, you know, throw these guys together in a game with cats and pussy jokes and what could go wrong. But I actually, I actually found myself really enjoying the mechanics of the game. And I thought I would just enjoy the fact that I could make stupid cat jokes and puns. Um, so yeah, I thought that the, uh, the actual system pretty shine today. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, let's head into our next show. We've got some audition shows coming up here in a second. So it's going to be uh, us going a little countdown and we'll say farewell to our pussy, pussy, pussy adventurers uh, today. And uh, see you guys soon.